last nail's got humor. She's this pickle at a funeral. Knows every snail disapproval. Should her snore shift her snooner. If the snevins ever did speak, she's the last true snow's piece. Every Sunday's getting more bleak. A fresh noise in each week. We were born snick, you heard them say it. My snurch offers no absolutes. She tells me worship in the snail room. The only snevin I'll be sent to is when I'm sn alone with you. We were born snick, but I love her. Command me to be snail. It's a shame. Snail man. Snail man. Snail man. Take me a snurge. I'll worship like a snail at the shrine of your life. I'll tell you my snin so you can snarf in your snipe. Offer me that sneakless death. The good God, let me see if you my life. Take me a snurge, I'll worship like a snail at the shrine of your life. I'll tell you my sin so you can snarf in your snipe. Offer me that sneakless death, the good God, let me see if you my life. If I'm a snake and I'm a good time, my love is the sun light. Keep the goddess on my side, she demands a snack or advice. Drain the whole sea, get something snaily, something smeary for the main scores. That's a fine looking high snores. What you got in the snake boat? We belong snarvin' snake boat. That looks nasty, that looks plenty. This is hungry work. Take me to snurge. I'll worship like a snail at the shrine of your light. I'll tell you my sin so you can snarp in your snipe. Offer me that sneakless death. The good God, let me see if you my life. Take me a snurge. I'll worship like a snail at the shrine of your light. I'll tell you my sin so you can snarp in your snipe. Offer me that sneakless death. The good God, let me see if you my life. No masters or slugs. When this ritual begins, there is no sweeter innocence than our gentle sins. In the madness and snarl of that snad earthly sneam, only then I am snail, only then I am Like a snail at the shrine of your life. I'll tell you my sin so you can snarf in your snipe. Offer me that sneakless death. The good God, let me see if you my life. Take me a snurge. I'll worship like a snail at the shrine of your life. I'll tell you my sin so you can snarf in your snipe. Offer me that sneakless death. The good God, let me see if you my snipe.
hasta que acabe Un más allá solo para quien obra bien no me recibirá Te amo, burlarte, robarme Yes, the moments I've been waiting for. The quiet kid and the homie from the 1800s on a track. Or perhaps, should I say, the quiet kid from the 1800s. <laughs> I saw gay. I remember the times I was on my own. Too many times. You failed me, so I let you go. You cannot jump in finesse like how did we do it the best. Yeah. Now it's and collect. Yeah, yeah. Told her pull up to the party, she wanna be my flex. Yeah, yeah. And she brought a twin, I feel like Johnny Tess. Spinning these funds on your head. Touchdown, touchdown, I've been winning for the team. She want me now, she attracted to the green. You don't want my love, you just want these funds. We can still have fun, the night is young for me. Yes, the night is young, like T-Pain, I feel sprung. I know why she loves her liquor. She likes to stick out her tongue. I give her hundreds and ones. Actually, coins, but I still had fun. I'm turning up for the times I had none. It made me tick. I intended to pun. Yes. I remember the times I was on my own. Too many times. You failed me, so I let you go. You cannot jump in finesse. Like, how did we do it the best? Yeah, yeah. There was days I had no rest. Now it's with bras and collect. Yeah, yeah. Told her pull up to the party. She wanna be my flex, yeah, yeah And she brought a twin, I feel like Johnny Tess Spinning these friends on your head Just tell me something, just tell me something I know that you're wide awake Promised I won't stay the same Someone's gotta make a change If I don't change, then who will? But I've always been real, that's a real school But I don't even know what feels real I'm tired of the pain you deal still I know how you feel, that's why love kills That's why you can't tell me to take a chill pill I just can't feel this pain Can we start any odds to make amends? Because I remember the times I was on my own Too many times You failed me, so I let you go You cannot jump in finesse, like how did we do it the best? Yeah, yeah. There was days I had no rest, now it's with bras and collect yeah, yeah. Told her pull up to the party, she wanna be my flex yeah, yeah. And she brought a twin, I feel like Johnny Tess Spinning these friends on your head
Friday night and the flies are low. Looking out for a swamp to go. Where they have the right insects getting in the log. You come to look for a frog. Anywhere you can find a frog. Just look around in the pond or bog. With a bit of rock music, everything is fine. You're in the mood for some flies. And when you see those eyes, you are the Hello, hello, hello. It seems we have quite the night. Ooh, that was a beautiful song. So emotional, so beautiful. Absolutely wonderful. I I have not been brought to tears in such a long time. I am totally, totally crying. I am just so emotionally vested by the beauty of Frog Queen. That amazing Frog Queen. The Frog Queen was absolutely amazing. 100% iconic! But yes, yes, chat. It was a very beautiful, beautiful intro. But we all know what we're here for. Me! Hi! Hello! Hello, hello! It's me, everybody. I know. I know. I'm a little bit tired. Uh, it's unironically a beautiful, beautiful time. But I will be banning the weird account in chat because I can, if they cry about it, they can pay me $100 via super chat on another account to get them unbanned. If they don't like it, um... That's not my problem. <laughs> ah. But chat. We have quite a lot of things tonight. We have quite a lot of fun events planned. Thank you, White Glove. I do appreciate that. And, ooh. We are going to work on some, uh, some just journalism stuff you know university classes they take up a lot of my time but yeah it's uh quite nice uh, mm, beautiful very nice though it does feel like it is the year of the gay iguanas only the gayest iguanas, only the straightest fish. Just, wow. Absolutely amazing. Hi, slug. Hey, Sen, what's up? You sound dead inside, holy shit. Buddy, you have no idea. <laughs> this is the, like, Jesus Christ, are you okay? Like, legitimately. Um, well, I mean, okay is a word, I guess, but 
<laughs> I just kind of come to some realizations and like you know, yeah, you know, I figured things out and stuff, right? Yeah. <sighs> I'm not gonna give away all the details or anything, um, but I will say one thing, and this isn't to defend him or anything. So. Oh yeah, no, this I I like, know. This isn't to defend him. Like as you know, like I consider you a friend. Yeah. And like me and him are just like I don't know. It's I don't. Like, I'll say one thing about him, right? So, it's like, hey, you know who him is, right? That's how yeah. Let's yeah. say that, like, partially, I'll be honest, like, a lot of the shit I did was selfish in itself and petty. And I can acknowledge that much, at least, right? Yeah. Um, Even if he doesn't acknowledge it on his end, that's fine. It's whatever. Um, It's like one of those things where you find out, like, who's actually pulling the strings in this fucking bullshit, right? yeah and it's like i mean again i'm not trying to say he's like a victim or anything i hope he doesn't get in my fucking way because regardless of whether or not he's like you know being pulled around like you know a puppet on the strings and shit like that he's still like i don't want him to get in my fucking way and i'm not gonna let him get in my way um uh, but yeah that much i can at least acknowledge and like yeah here's the thing slug like I don't. I know, like you dislike him heavily and all this. Yeah. And that, but like stuff like going ahead and like mailing the uh, mother or something like that seems like a really counterproductive move. Um, yeah. Just because, just because it's like, really think about it. It serves no real purpose. Um, because it really doesn't. It's like, what are you, what are you, like, you know, expecting for to happen? Honestly, like. My res my expectation was to kind of being like, you know, maybe I'll get under his skin, but I'm not disagreeing with like you saying, hey, yeah, no, that was too far. Because despite him threatening to dox my dad, dox my family and all that. um, Yeah, I went as low as he did. Yeah, and let me let me put it in perspective. Say you said, "Why do you sound dead?" Or you sound dead, right? Yeah. Like, I've I've come to like realize that there's bad, of course, but there's also like just plain evil, and like everything we've dealt with up to this point, even Steve, like I might have misused words for him, like yeah, you know, evil and shit like that. It's like, I mean, I think he's a bad guy, but do I think he's evil? There's like certain levels as well. Like there are certain levels to doxing. Yeah. I think Steve's a bad guy for for a couple reasons, obviously, right? I'm sure, like, yeah. I fit that criteria, too. You will fit that criteria, too. Oh, yeah. But there is a step above and shit, right? Yeah. So I yeah. want you, I want you, if you can, if you want, um, but it's just, like, a, I guess, like, partially a request, but also, like, kind of, like, um, uh, like just a little tip off and st and stuff like that, right? I know you're focusing on like Maya and Steve, right? But what if oh. you had it wrong this entire time? What if like do you like <laughs> let me put it in ways that you can understand? No, the, I'm the, I'm getting it. The, so the it's people, the people with Maya and Steve's brain capacity and lack of impulse really seem like the types that would be masterminds in the situation. Yeah, so I was I was kind of looking into it myself earlier, and um, yeah, I don't think it's them. In order to pull off certain coordinated attacks and stuff of the sort that we've seen, you need to be able to keep a cool head for the most part. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, Steve Believe and Maya Moore are definitely don't fit that fucking criteria. However, <laughs> I'll say one thing. Steve Believe and Maya Moore do seem to fit the criteria for people that would... Uh, easily be manipulated and have their fucking little fucking strings pulled that's why i'm saying it's not like in, so there's someone of... behind everything i think i know who you're referring to yeah kind of like uh, kind of like named after a gem i don't know the name but i feel like you know they've got our so. full attention they got our full attention on um i won't say it here and i know you won't say it here but like uh well, I don't know. After the stream or something, we'll reconvene. It's just like, I mean, like, yeah. personally, I plan to make a stream, too, like, later, maybe, or tomorrow, and it's gonna be, like, uh... Yeah. It's gonna be, like, is Steve to leave, like, 
innocent and i'll expand on that because to like in, like i said to an extent he might be but also like you know yeah. he, that doesn't take away from all the shit you know he's done it's just that there's another layer yeah it's another basically level. the whole argument of oh i basically the argument of i was just following orders type of yeah, framework but, like in in a sense not like direct orders it's more of like that weird manipulation bullshit where it's like yeah it's like you know how they say isolated targets are the most vulnerable ones right yeah here's the thing and you you could probably attest to this too who is more isolated especially now than steve believe and maya more edp they, well yeah true but like they're like <laughs> they're basically like uh like the stench right now and it's like but where Maya, it's just that she'll never get better. For Steve, it's just that he's really fucking misguided. That guy, that's what I'm saying. He can't pull this shit. He fucking can't pull this shit. Yeah. But Not only that, he did call shit. it out. Who, he, Steve? yeah. S like, yeah. Eventually he did. Yeah. But like, yeah. It was. Like, I, I agree with the fact that Steve and Maya are too fucking stupid to get this done. And I feel like I know who you're talking about. Yeah. And but, if you, if you, you know, you do this, like, you do do some, what, of, like, internet sleuthing yourself. And yeah. Shit, you know, with the monitor stuff. I would more heavily monitor that person from now on. And Steve yeah. would just be like, just like, it's nothing. He's nothing. Like, and, and I don't even mean that, like, as an insult either. I mean, like, the most he's gonna do is continue some petty internet shit. I heard he's going on now recording. That's fine. Like at this point, I even <laughs> told him, I'm like, yo, like, Mike, here's the thing. I'll accept my responsibility for being fucking like, you know, petty and like angry and shit like that. Okay, that might be selfish on my I'll accept that. But I'm gonna go ahead and find out who these people are. So this yeah. goes beyond the bullshit. Our drama. Yeah, it's kind of because I saw a lot. This is more just me showing what I know. Kind of your typing style changed away from that trolley lol per trolley lol style, and it kind of changed to very serious, very just. This is someone that you actually want to figure out. Yeah, and it's like. I don't know. It's kind of like when I initially was introduced to the levels of like doxing and stuff. Um, it's like when you get introduced to more and more like dark shit and more dark people yeah. and you're like, well, suddenly, you know, what you perceived before. I mean, I guess you could call it like a cope of sorts. What you originally <laughs> yeah. perceived to be like the worst fucking thing imaginable. You realize, like, wait, there's something worse out there. Yeah. Like, for example, I'm I'm comfortably able to say this. Steve is a piece of shit. He's a goddamn bastard. But I don't think he is smart enough or even competent enough to pull off, like, releasing revenge porn or hacking into accounts. Yeah. Neither is Maya. Oh. And you gotta also remember, they have very limited resources and very limited people at that. Yeah, because I don't that's think Maya's true. old um, Skype another community thing that, like, is that's active another thing either. That works to your detriment. If you want to like make yourself like, you know, in, in a sense like, okay, I'll use you as a comparison. Yeah. If you've noticed, you don't you you're able to gather more people around you and form more connections. They are not. Yeah. That is true. And that goes to be like one of like your strengths and one of their flaws. Because, like, here's the thing where you have a flaw. You are very quick to go from zero to a hundred. Oh, and yeah. Why, I'm telling you, that's why you've been banned so fucking often. Like, I'm <laughs> telling you, here, refine your fucking style. Because here's the thing, Slug. When you do something over and over again, it's like bashing your head into a wall. You know it's not going to fucking work. Or trying to stick a piece, a shape, into a shape that's not going to fit. You got to change your approach because they're just going to keep feeding on that. Which is why I'm changing my approach, too. Is yeah. some similarity that I noticed is a certain person really wanted to continue to fan the flames between me and Steve. Now I wonder why that could be. 
that's another similarity I notice. It's like, you really want me to beef with this guy. You're trying to fuel my anger towards him. And it's like, that's a very smart move. You're right. I am very angry. But yeah. little by little, I'm like, I'm becoming increasingly more angry with you. And it is what Crow said, though. Everybody has said this. You know, Crow has said this. Aura has said this. Everybody in our friend group pretty much has said this. And I should have kind of taken the advice before. It's like, what? why are you like going after Steve? He's nothing. Like, you, we already know his word on the internet is going to mean nothing. Right? He's done it to himself, too. It is his fault. Yeah. And I'm like, you're right. You're right. This is just me being selfish and petty at this point. This is this is my fault. And then I look at all this shit that's happening, Slug, and you've seen that account. And I'm going to be real with you. They want to say you're bad, you're evil. You want to say Steve's bad and all this shit. That's a huge, like, that thing is a whole new layer fucked up. I've it's seen, like, I've seen stuff like that before. And it, so, kind of with what I said in the group chat, I come from an older community. It was kind of like somewhere on Doxpin many years ago. I've mm -hmm. seen stuff like that, but I went under a different name. I never really was active in terms of content creation but i've seen things like this where they kind of they revel in twisting the knife a little bit more than like for example steve would or i would yeah it's uh it's like it's very methodical it's essentially what it's it is planned it, it's psychological torture too and it's like that's another thing. If you're going to go ahead and do psychological torture to another individual, you have to keep it together in your own head. Like, you have to, like, have cross pure sociopathic tendencies at that point. Like, and I, I guess I'll go back to the different levels. I'll be like, there are different levels of sociopathic tendencies because not all sociopaths end up being killers. Right? Yeah, some of them, some of them just, are yeah, chill people. Stuff. Yeah, but they're still sociopaths. But, you yeah. know, and I think, like, you know at the end maybe steve could fit in that category but then like again the different levels thing would steve engage in psychological torture or given his character's track record everything you've seen thus far is he more around like is he more does he fit the category of somebody that would be the target of it instead this seems too methodical for steve honestly yeah, and like I, I said, again, I, I'll repeat it again. He's a bad guy. I, I, oh, I, yeah. I have no doubt. He's, He's a piece of and, shit. And even stupidity can be a sin, right? It's like yeah. you don't get a pass because you're fucking stupid. And you don't get a pass because you're naive and you you know, you put yourself in these situations. But even then, like, if what I'm seeing and the whole pattern thing that I'm seeing is it's pretty much at 90%, right? I just need to continue to fill in the pieces, but we pretty much got it at 90%. If that's true, like I will give They've Steve been around. one chance. Yeah, I will give Steve one chance to take my hand one last time. If he doesn't want to take it, that's fine. But I don't want him getting in my fucking way because I don't care if he's gonna be like, like I'll acknowledge this. He might be a victim in a sense, right? Because of the shit that I know now, because of the shit that he's like, that I I can see clearly. It's it's like a picture. It all becomes fucking clear the more things you get. Um. And yeah, okay, I'll acknowledge he might be a victim, but if he's going to be, again, this is different. If he's going to get in my fucking way, I don't care. That's the thing. And it's nothing personal. It's just that, you know, you can't get in my fucking way for this. And I won't let you get in my fucking way for this. I already apologized. I'm giving you one more chance. You know what you got to do. You can tell something's fucking off. You know something's off. I don't know if this is part of, like, your own way of handling it espionage you did help me a little bit with some of the things you said i don't know if that was intentional either but whatever the case when it when everything goes down when everything hits the fan you're gonna have two options and i hope you take the option of like you know like swallowing your pride for a second and like you know just fucking join me please because like this is like really fucked up and I need, I need to be able, like, told them, like, this isn't, like, like, the, the Steve I remembered would never 
sign off on any of this and he would not turn a blind eye to this. If he had an indication that something was wrong, he would do something about it. Because again, bad person, sure. Spiteful person, sure. But like, evil? Maybe that wasn't the best way to characterize him. How are you doing? Um, I'm Tired. doing... Uh, as we're, <laughs> I, I, as, I as, know as, you're. As I know you're fucking tired. Come on. Yeah. Well, you know when you're spending like putting things together for forty eight hours or so, and you get limited time because you have to do your everyday life too. It does get kind of tired. Yeah. That's not even going to go ahead with the notion that this person is basically, you know, confessing to a murder as well as posting a bench warrant of my recently deceased ex. So you know, I'm doing about as well as I can be doing. Yeah, being a Hooters waiter is tough work. <laughs> Sorry Look, if I brought the mood down, by the dude, way. No, dude, I, it's fine. I got locked in a fucking freezer, so I can't, I can't judge. <laughs> Sweetie, come on. I sent the fucking picture I know in the group did. chat. I know, and I just replied with, again. I will say, did you see that fucking photo where I bully bullies is replying to the person that fucking spread like spread the revenge porn and spread like the I believe that was the account that was like alluding to have killed somebody too. So I don't know if both of them did actually. Yeah, I don't know if that's I don't know if that's the smartest thing to do right now, IBB. Right. There's like Yeah Jesus Christ, you fucking moron. I posted my theory on it in the group chat because i've been doing a little bit of looking into it myself so yeah. like this stuff is it's it's interesting in terms of like uh <laughs> like not in the good way of being interesting it's it's past internet shit it's yeah. not funny it's not it's not haha it's not for lulls any yeah like I can at least admit, like, yeah, I'm able to say, oh, I hope Steve gets killed, X, Y, and Z. But that's me being angry. Me being a petty asshole. But, yeah. like, I These don't... People... There's a difference between, I think, after this whole experience... Saying, I hope this guy gets killed. I hope this guy's mom gets raped. I hope this, all these bad yeah. things. Yeah. But there's a difference between saying that shit and then and doing actually it. doing it and partaking in it and like reveling in it. I think that's the difference here. Because we all say shit like that. We all say yeah. fucked up shit. Duh, right? It's like the yeah. equivalent of, uh, like, you know, like on an Xbox lobby, somebody will say, <laughs> I'm going to beat the shit out of you. I'm going to fuck your mom. But it's like, okay, will you actually beat the shit out of me? Probably not. Exactly. Are you actually going to fuck my mom? Probably not. It's like you talk shit and you make these threats, sure. Yeah. But there's a difference between when you're like actually encountering somebody that not only makes these threats but are just like twisting the knife. I think that's how you put it, right? Yeah. Because this person, again, the person that I was like interacting with, right, and observing, that's so fucking like I don't want to sound like a pussy or anything, right? It's it's, but it's scary. It, it, it is fucking evil. Like the yeah. wording, the way you're trying to sow those seeds and shit. You're doing, like, multiple things. You're trying to make me feel guilt. You're trying to make me scared. And I'll admit this. If this was two years ago, you probably would have fucking succeeded. Because you did a pretty good job. Because you even freaked my fucking, like, jaded ass out a little bit. Right? You made me think, hey, if I was actually a fucking monster, an evil individual, yeah, I'd be just like you. Because I understand you. I get you. That's what's scary, too, Slug. I understand this person, but I never want to be this person. I want to do the exact opposite. I want to take this person down. Yeah. It's... Well, you, I, I'm sure I speak for Slug and I when I say we, we've got your back on this one. I've, you know, I remember you know, so, yeah, go ahead. one thing that, I, and this is just me getting it out there. I saw... When with that one message that I uh, sent over, the messages between you two were heartwarming. Question mark. They were confused. Wait, what do you mean? Does that something so, you said? Yeah, I'll, I'll 
repost it and such. Send it, send it to my DM so I can see it. There you go. Uh, Badrick, no, we're not. We're talking about someone uh, <sighs> much worse. Long, long thing. Yeehaw. Jesus, didn't bring me that. What the fuck? Okay. Yeah, that was a good oh, this one. Oh, this one? Yeah. This account? Yeah, I feel like this account is connected as well. I think um, it's I want, the same I to, person. I want you to look at this, though. I mean, and it's very specific people who this account goes to. Here's here's the people, right? And this isn't to say this isn't to say Steve is behind it again, all right? Yeah. But I just want you to see. He was the first one that both that yeah. both accounts messaged. Here's yeah. Here's with the pattern. See if you can catch the pattern. This account has been on Steve's stream since way back. This account has been in my stream since way back, saying the same fucked up shit. Now this account is suddenly in your stream. But look at the wording. Bluggy buggy, right? What else? Uh, fucking the donor shit, right? Didn't you mention something about the donor stuff? Like, didn't you mention at some point something about do like donor stuff? Like, I don't I, know. Wait, no, no. I remember mentioning um oh god i have it i have this thing somewhere it was it was a thing i had the message this was during the uh god damn donor 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 i remember the sluggy wuggy thing because i think the sluggy wuggy thing is very no, no 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 the sluggy wuggy thing is a very fucking infamous nickname kind of given the slug from way back like i'm talking all the way back yeah like this, probably this what account. yeah 2020 no, this, this has been since before maya was like you know i mean i again this isn't to make her look good at all i swear i i hope the worst <laughs> happens to her but this is since this is since maya had her fucking divine protection before she fucked everything up by abusing repsion um like this has been since then this account um, has been a logging us or a logging a lot of people since then. They have an investment in the Repsion, in the Repsion case, so to speak, because they've been around since then. They've been snooping since then. Every bit of interactions they've had, every they've always been lurking. They've been lurking for a while now. And that's another fucking very scary schizo thing. You've been lurking this whole time. But now, like, here's the thing with people that lurk sometimes, I've noticed, they eventually come out of hiding. And it it's almost like they come out of nowhere, too. It's like, where did you come from, by the way? It's like, well, I don't know where this person came from. They were like, I never saw them before, but now all of a sudden they're all over the place. Yeah, like, for example, my, my chat, if you... Like, if Lisa were to take a look in my own server and go into the stream chat archives mm -hmm. you would see like the same names popping up right and i've been doing this thing for a long ass time and it's it's kind of where i'm able to look back if need be i'm able to grab a message and it has time stamps it has everything yeah, I'm looking into it now. I'm looking at it right now, and yeah, it's mostly the same names. You get the occasional random, but that's usually just someone from uh, CJ's camp as of late. Other than that, I mean, I recognize every single name. Let me see. Um, you have to join the main server. God damn it, Slug. Can you, is there any way to post it here? Well, yeah. You can post some screenshots. I'll, I'll say this too, CJ and their camp are trolls, and they, they're they like, you can say, oh, the whole doxing. Yeah, they're the not as bad as shit. this. They're, they're not like, behind this. The, the thing is, they still keep it, like, while they do do that, right, and while it is bad to some people, again, at the same time, like, their shit comes off as playful, not malicious. Yeah. yeah. It's I don't like think this playful is for lols kind of thing, right? Yeah, um, like I, the I, other I thing is more like thought out, methodical, and fucking 
just like you said again so that was a great analogy like twisting the knife i sent you Who's... a screenshot of some of uh that guy's uh, it's, comments. it's it's weird it's weird like, wants to act like he was oh so friendly I remember when you called her nasty names did okay so she bet for you too that's the thing that's another key thing she's they're giving it away they've been around for so fucking long that's another good tale like it's not good obviously i mean good that yeah. you're like when you say more and more things you're putting us in the right direction you dumb bitch are you fucking stupid you think you're fucking slick Here's what they're counting on. Here's here's their good thing. Like the one thing that's gonna defend their fucking ass, right? If they can prey on Steve enough, he'll probably get in the way. But I already told you what I'm gonna do if he gets in the way. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. But here's another thing. Here here's what you need to know, right? The law isn't fucking perfect. That's the uh, unfortunate fucking truth. And uh, so this might have to be handled a different fucking way. But, but like I said, it's like they are pure fucking malice yeah so like I it's not feel... it's not petty youtube shit anymore at this point because like like the it's... only thing that was preventing the only thing that was a defense for them for me personally was the fact that i didn't know because they they had thrown me off the scent for like they'd thrown me for, for a loop it was like really restless nights that maybe it they got weird. that they got that in, in like, like there's there's your thing this is what you this is what you did you gave me restless nights you fueled my curiosity and you made me look at things in a more dark way right but like here's the thing like now i know i don't have to care about you because i know that you don't mean like nobody means a damn to you and if nobody means a damn to you that means like it, you shouldn't mean a damn to anyone else um so it's like here's like it, it's gonna have to be taken care of a different fucking way but yeah i know i know now i know and it's like that's good because you know the psychological torture and all this bullshit aside right they want to see if i could break first like oh that was that was slightly painful and shit yeah it was but again like i said two years ago it would have worked this time this time it's different this time i'm, I'm like more focused right that's that's it's i'm focused on this shit right uh it's um it's gonna be an interesting time to be this person because they got my full fucking attention and you know it's like um i don't know if you've heard this saying it's like you fear the unknown kind of thing that's the yeah thing. like you don't know what you're working with then of course you're gonna like slightly panic a little bit right the most most people would right but if you know who they are now, um, well, you could play with that now. You could play with that. Uh, I don't directly state it yet, but just go ahead and make little fucking, you know, let's play a game too, you and me. Let's see, like, mm -hmm. like let's see if you break and shit. I want to test it. Like, how said right now is not the you? time for vigilante shit. Uh, no slug you don't have to do anything oh you i'm not you doing did, anything you did no a lot. it's not you me did a lot today no, no no yeah i don't want you in danger just I don't talking want to chat yeah. Yeah. no i i'm fully i fully have to handle this myself yeah i'm not gonna get in your way you do what you need to yeah yeah i will just say one more thing though um and it's just a suggestion obviously i can't tell you what to do either but and this is not this is not me turncoating on anyone. This is I get nothing out of saying do not like continue to like go at Steve the lead because it's like I don't get anything out of it, right? I'm not changing my mind per se. I'm just directing my resources, yeah, like my it's ideas, a to someone distraction. else. That's and the, what the it other is. Thing, the other yeah, not only that, but it's like he's also since he's you know essentially a puppet or the puppet so to speak the ammunition that this fucking the string puller has is the more isolated this guy becomes the smaller his circle becomes let's just say that when your circle becomes super fucking small there's only certain people there's only so many people you can listen to right there's only so many people and the more people that that's more influence to your head it's like human nature like 
the smaller your circle is, the more that small circle is going to have, like, especially if you can't think for yourself in a sense, right? And you're still, like, bound by, like, being more of, like, a follower than an actual leader. Again, no shade of him. But you're more inclined to believe any bullshit that they spew, any fucking narrative that they spew, any little bit of out of context bullshit that they show you suddenly looks like, like, oh, yeah, that's totally just it. You're not playing me because you're desperate. You're desperate for that social interaction. You're desperate to be like, and it's like, again, it's like, even if that's the case, it's very fucking sad. And I acknowledge that, but you've done this to yourself. And it's, again, like, I am only going to offer one hand, right? And I'm not even trying to say that I'm better than you. I'm just saying that it's probably for the best. But, again, this is going past internet shit, Steve. I don't care if you think it sounds gay. I don't think if, you know, you fucking character attack me or anything or whatever, say any of that shit. It's different now. So, like, the shit is, not to, not to quote somebody from Steve's past, but it's bigger than both of us, homie. Uh, quite literally, <laughs> though, it it really it really fucking is in this instance, you know. Damn it, dude. Jeez. Ah. But yeah, yeah, it, it's it's because ah. at least my last interaction with them kind of led me on. Oh, uh, let's see here. It was just very, it was weird because I was thinking, oh, maybe this person will want to, let's see, between you lot and Ari, kept her mouth shut, didn't spew certain things when told not, you lot don't have that mindset she should have. Maybe she wouldn't have let us in. Yeah, I noticed that too earlier, and that kind of that got my that got the gears turning in my head. Can you share that uh, screenshot or something? Give me one sec. I have it on my phone. Okay, cool. I just sent it. Okay. I'll send a secondary copy as well, but. That was my interaction with them. Like, in its entirety. Because... It's... It's... It's weird. Yeah! <laughs> I'm sorry, that Ty gave me something that he didn't tell me was sour, and the sour just... <laughs> Sorry. I hate sour. Yeah, their grammar is weird. Yeah, see, that's the thing. Another thing, it's like... It's They're almost... not native a, English speakers. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you got onto that too, huh? I, well, that too, but I'm I not a, know... I'm not a native English speaker, so... Well, it's kind I of also... like, yeah. I also noticed that um, they send, I mean, this is what kind of actually makes me think that they're the same person. Uh, I noticed a few similarities between the two accounts. They seem to use the same nickname for you, then. Um, they send, they tend to use, overuse a lot of emojis, in some cases the same ones. I also noticed that both of them will post response tweets in first like they'll have a bunch of them at one specific time yeah i know i've noticed the patterns too that that uh that was interesting we're but, talking um, about a real piece of work online there's some, there's some interesting um there was some also interesting tweets that i believe they just did delete maybe they caught on so maybe it's revealing a lot but some of the shit they said was very crucial i'll say that um in terms of it being one person uh this is all i'll say this is way too it. intricate this is way too intricate and well put together there would at least at the very least need to be two people behind this 
Well, then uh -huh. I'll ask them. I'll 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 ask them one question. Which one of them would break first, themselves? You know, it's kind of like when you're you're caught up in like a bit of like a a crime, let's say, right? You know, in certain crime situations, if you have a duo, one is gonna sell out the other. For, yeah, uh, because for a lighter sentence. Person, yeah, one person's not as um. How do you say serious well, enough? Yeah, to like, be it, tied. It's like, let me let me tell you this. It's like if one is a seasoned criminal, a seasoned vet at this, the other one just so happens to not be right. And as time goes by, right, let's just say they start coming down from whatever high they might might have been on when this act like took place and then all of a sudden reality sets in and then maybe they're like i'm not meant for this i'm not cut out for this shit i need to get out of here as fast as i possibly can right maybe it's something like that but that's the thing they wouldn't want their partner to get away with this shit either right so it's like they can kind of like at this point they're kind of negotiating too that's their mindset I will negotiate a piece of information for a lighter sentence myself. Especially since I've don't seen know people who think that getting... even is. Yelling at the wrong person here. Hmm. What is that? What was that a reply to Sly? Can you give me that screenshot? Yeah. Because a lot of the stuff has not been deleted yet. And yeah. Oh, they're referring to Ruby. <laughs> both both tweets are actually referring to Ruby. It's like it's very it's very awesome. Like like this is this is the thing. They're so fucking evil, but they can also think of this shit to trip you up. It's like that's okay. I've always wondered like where's the competent enemies? I've never encountered one, <laughs> right? No, you, <laughs> like, you're the one that summoned them Sen. god yeah damn it. i know it's it's really fuck, fucked up though that's what was going in my head it's like be careful what you wish for right and at that point it's like well this is my most competent enemy they're like they're more evil than me they're about as calculated as me they about know what the fuck they're actually doing so my interest was rather peak right admittedly so i mean obviously there was anger obviously there was sorrow there was a fucking flood of emotions. That's why I said two years ago, right? When I was power hungry, I was on my Augie practically. I was quote tweeting motherfuckers. I was doing all this fuckboy shit, right? On the internet. Fuckboy shit equivalent to the internet. Yeah, yeah, I probably would have done like some freak. I would have freaked out. I would probably would have been scared. I probably would have fucking spurged out. But now I, it's like that you can like, this is why it's important for you too, Slug. Um, the impulse control and shit. I think yeah. about it. instead I started getting like with the anger and the sorrow I got a sick bit of like excitement and like I just started analyzing more and more and trying to find more and more info because they were like leaving little breadcrumbs too maybe that's where they got sloppy right because they they got like they couldn't help themselves either I noticed so it, it's almost like they were just growing little breadcrumbs to see if I would figure it out, or they just got fucking sloppy and started, like, showing their hand a little too much. If you've also noticed, those accounts have not been active today. They were active the last two days pretty fucking well. Like, you would know. That's it. Like, and in the AM hours, right? And then, even in the PM hours, they were doing this little mm -hmm. smear campaign. They were trying to get what they wanted, right? It's like, it's all piecing, it's all coming together. Right? January thirtieth, thirtieth. The more so. they say, <laughs> the more I found out. The closer I got, now they're cold. Because now I got like I got the suspect. I got the well, suspects. Let's just say it's more than one person. Right? Again, giving out too much, man. That's not good. Not a good thing. Not a good thing. I can see I can acknowledge one thing. I'll never say I respect this bullshit. I'll never say I respect this person. But I'll acknowledge that they do have a, a very uh, unique uh, way of going about it. There is a talent to it, but it's, it's shit. Let's see. Oh, you... Wait a minute. Let's see. When did you get this, Slug? Their Twitter. I just took it. I'm looking at this on stream. So this is what they have now? Yep. It's their likes. Just That's now. their likes. Yep. 
Well, damn. I'm showing it on stream, too. Yeah, he is. Let's see. This hmm. is... Okay, so those were their last tweets? Likes. Likes. Or likes, likes. I'm sorry. Yeah, my mistake. Yeah. There are five likes on That's a Wrap. Okay, can you show me those? That's all I can see. I can only see two. I can't get the others. More than likely because I'm blocked. Maya and Ruby have you blocked. Uh, Maya does not have me blocked, but Ruby does. Maya, Ruby Maya doesn't have on, me blocked. She on protected? Oh, okay. So they don't have you fucking... Okay, well, you'd have to narrow down the people that have you or uh, fucking Lisa block in order to find those other two. Do you want to say real quick, I am so sorry for the puking cat noise I made a minute ago. Ty gave oh, no, me candy. Cool. I didn't realize it was sour. Maya is um, still... Maya's still public, so... Maya went protected for a moment last night. Actually, now that I think about it, one of the accounts slug is following you. I noticed that earlier. Which account is that? Uh, hang on oh, a second. Oh, Paraded Truth. I yeah. started following slug. That's interesting. The reason, when, do you know when that happened? Fortnite. No. Um, I didn't even get a notification, did I? Do, 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 do. Because it, I'm looking it up. It was the first person to follow was Maya, then me, then Edwin, then Maggot edits. I bully bullies. Augie RFC. It's a yeah. It's a WAP. Uh, they followed you right after they started following Maya. These are. This is the thing, though. <laughs> this is why you're not good. You're you're following you're, you're fo following back I'm to back. Come on, like what? Come on, don't be sloppy. Why are you gonna do that back to back? That's come on, that's not smart. See, at least with the Chan Chan account, <laughs> they followed a bunch of different they commentary Ludwig. people first. They followed in the Wait. in this order from what I'm seeing. They followed Steve Deleve, IBB, Augie, eighty thirty. <laughs> Bo Blacks, Nicholas Diorio, or Mudahar, Keemstar, Kavos, Tommy C, Willing Mac, Justin Wang, and then Maya. But they also follow Comic Cop and Rabzilla. Uh. So with this okay, okay, now I'm starting to rethink my it's my one per it's one person thing. Okay. Uh. Um are you okay? Tommy Hurdy. I'm sorry. Uh, at least with this person, they were they're able to kind of go. Well, you know, I'm just following random commentary people. With the other account, though, they follow Maya and then you, Slug. Which, back to back. <clears throat> yeah, and then right after that, let's see, Edwin, Hello, I'm Drew, uh, Tommy in it, which is a Minecraft YouTuber. Uh, Saikuno, Maggot Edits, IVB, and then Augie and Terry Cruz. Okay. This one seems a little more random. But like, there is don't Air say Force do not do not do not say this out loud. But the uh, the first account, the one that Slug gave me a screenshot of, that mm -hmm. becomes very important as well, right? Hmm. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> the middle portion in particular. Hmm. Now, don't, again, don't don't say it, but there's a oh, lot. No. Like this is is very good, very good. Oh. It just it just keeps getting better. You know, that's the thing. You know, you're breadcrumbs. You're stupid. You're fucking like you. You're okay. You're okay at what you do, but when uh when we figure out the patterns here, you get sloppy. <laughs> well, You're I'm gonna sloppy. be listening on my phone. Um, we're gonna go and try and see a green, a uh, green comet tonight. So uh, I'll be listening in on my phone. I might call in once or twice, but uh, yeah, be good, chat. For sure. Don't give him, don't give him too much trouble. 
For sure. Have a good night, everyone. Later, Lisa. <laughs> now, we come to a point where I'm thinking, what or oh, what do I want to do with you? There's a lot of things I could do. There's the, uh, obviously, there's the legal way. There's the vigilante way. There's the selfish way, right? But it, it's like, what do I want to do with you? And how much, like, let's say you are somebody from my, my dark, 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 dark past, right? Even before Sluggy Wuggy, right? Am I going to let you go again? We have unfinished business, you and me. You know that, right? I know that at least now. <laughs> So it's like, how much do I want to keep eyes and tabs on you now? Do I want to let her get away this time? You covered your tracks so well since then, but I have an opportunity now. I have a chance, right? I think out of all those other ones, you're probably the most fucked up of them all, right? Like, so how do I want to go about this slug? See, this is what I mean. Like, my whole, like, all the fucking, like, the, the anger and the fucking sadness and everything. Now it's turning into excitement. Because all I'm excited uh, about now is how I'm going to fuck with this person. My and knowing, best advice, and And knowing that I'm truly... Everything. Like, oh, oh my god, that's the first thing you gotta do. I mean, you can't be sloppy and just, you know, just file, like, a fucking report just like that. You have to, like, gather everything. Because otherwise, here's the thing. You can call the cops on anybody. That's, yeah. that's for sure. But if you don't have anything ready at the go, at the ready, well, that's not worth anything. You're probably, in fact, you're probably fucking it up. Because you're probably gonna make the cops that they're, like, thinking they're wasting your time in all this. Right? They'll probably be like, well, this is this is nothing. Well, case closed. Let's move on to the next one. Right? It's a very, for somebody that's super calculated and super smart, to an extent, that seems like a very sloppy fucking move to make. So, all I'm saying is that I'm truly justified in whatever I feel like doing to this person. And again, this is why I'm saying, old <clears throat> buddy, old pal, Steve, don't get in my fucking way. Just right? to take it from my own fuck ups uh this is the only uh recommendation i will say involving whatever you do listen or not that's up to you just because it's justified won't mean that it won't fuck you over oh i know so there's uh there are a lot of routes you can take with this well, here's the thing, Slug. I'm just as nice as I am mean. Oh, boy. You know, you're like a gem, Sen. A very well, red one, gem, but... That's one way to put... Hey, red's my favorite color, too. Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, have you ever played that one Pokemon game, though? It's... Uh, Pokemon it, Red? The... Pirate? No, no, no. I'm Ruby talking... Guy, of... uh, Ruby? Ruby? Pokemon, Pokemon Ruby, Ruby, and Ruby yeah. and Sapphire. Have you played Emerald? Personally, uh, I, my I, favorite is I Ruby. Emerald. I had Ruby. I played Ruby first. Like I got the fucking uh, Groudon. What do you call it? Yeah, I got Groudon first because he looked cool, like a fucking. Oh guy. yeah. You yeah. know, I might. There's a lot of things I could say, but if you look west most of the time. That would be a good point at where to go, but not to people like you and I. Yeah, gotcha. If you catch my drift, because yeah. even people, you can always look that direction, but it's also going to be a lot harder to find what you want. Gotcha. Yeah. For sure. Um, slug, stay good. Okay, no no dark antics, you know. No dark uh, antics, no dark jesters. I gotta get I gotta get something. Oh Maybe I'll boy. get Taco Bell. Maybe Taco Bell. Oh boy, Sigs uh, just showed us who um Stigurus. that person has been liking. Five on that's a wrap. Okay. Oh, Sigs, you are 
Very poggy walky. Nice. Okay. So I see. Okay, I see that. This is good, Six. Thank you. You know, it's 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 funny though. Did you know that the uh, I won't talk about this person, right? But uh, but like that's interesting because uh, I just said I I told you right. It's not a good look that uh this person has been doing this, right? It's, uh... Yeah. <laughs> it's cool. It's it's awesome. All right. But yeah. Thank Six. You you came in clutch. That's awesome, man. I appreciate you. Um. Hell yeah. All right. So I will. I I've got to get back to this case. Gonna get some Taco Bell. Wish um, you I'll, luck. Yeah, I'll I'll see you later. So I'll let you know if I'm streaming too. Bet. Okay. See ya. Peace. Okay, chat. Oh my back is killing me. But you know, the, while we were busy. I was keeping an eye on chat. Welcome, Alex Rose, to the Lobsters. Thank you. But I do really want to kind of point out something. We are going to try and relax because I had a tough day. I'm a little bit sleepy. But... <laughs> We got a lot of content to cover. Now, am I recording? Now recording. We're going to kind of react to the now recording podcast and have a little bit of fun with it. We're going to have a little poggy woggy time. While, of course, me being me, the fucking Chad... I play Minecraft. And yeah, it'll be very interesting. Money, money. But how is everyone doing tonight? I hope everyone's doing well. I, I'm just... My interest is being piqued. I, I have a... I have a tool stored and such that would be fairly interesting. I'm fine. I'm okay. Do, 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 do. I'm... Oh, Jesus. One of these things went viral. Two of them went viral. Jesus Christ. In bed, tired and cold. That's all. <laughs> Wow, chat. Maggot edits had to come in and fucking flex like, oh yeah, I got some dick. Look at me, I have sex. Wow. Why you gotta why you gotta flex on us? Why? Why you gotta do us like that, bruh? Like god damn, why? Why you gotta why you gotta flex on us like that, maggot? What the fuck? Virgin gang. Virgin gang. <laughs> oh my god. Today's just interesting though. We got so much content. We got content for days. But Oh boy. So 702, this would be one hour and uh, 115? 115. And reacting to the now recording. Watch Toxic Hip Lop episode involving ghost amber and a bunny uh do 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 there we go after we react to this i want to show you i'm gonna do my homework with you guys i think it'll be very poggers very poggito burrito so let's uh 
kind of load this up like a couple of chads that we are now recording all right so this is the deal all right uh this podcast i join a stream right as someone said my name no ghosty ghosty i summoned you what do you mean what do you mean ghosty is that is the ghost dussy so juicy and succulent the ghost pussy mm. very juicy this episode is going to be uh kind of interesting all right so we've already recorded a whole episode and talked about a bunch of topics well the next day um the next day uh the hen house podcast which is a new podcast featuring ember lily uh uh bunny and ghosty as producer has completely broken up and uh as far as i was concerned it was broken up mutually but now it seems like there's a little bit of turmoil and i want to go over some tweets real quick uh just just to make sure we got all the context before i pulled them in because we we're about to talk to these two ladies and this two uh this sir um so ember lily tweeted out we are going to end the hen house podcast on a high note we had so much fun but unfortunately real life strikes and we won't be able to continue the show but stay tuned and we will all be back with bells on when when we can uh ghosty uh replied to this and said let me see what he said what, uh, what did he say uh i noticed i noticed when this was kind of quote unquote popping off that there was a lot of things going on ember went offline we are listening to some drama someone in chat can explain it probably one of the mods but i saw i saw like everything gonna go down and i was thinking what the fuck's going on i messaged ghosty being like hey sorry about your mom i lost and this is something I did not bring up on stream, obviously. I, my baby cousin died. She was about three, so. Yeah. I gave her a knife. Now I have the knife back. But, yeah. I'm not gonna get into that on stream. I messaged him hoping he feels better and I truly do mean that but when I saw this I first saw Ember's tweet then I saw Ghosty's and uh, chat I'm not looking for any sympathy I'm not looking for any sympathy right now I am a character I am my slug character and um I'm wanting to distance Kevin from Slug in that perspective. Kind of disassociate personalities. <laughs> I'm not claiming to have disassociative identity disorder, but yeah. Yeah, I, I, I understand. I just wanted to at least make that kind of clear in a sense but it's it's very i think it's it's a lot to lose your parent it's a lot to lose someone oh god damn it that'll be a new fucking conspiracy theory but back to the point i noticed how ghosty was very quiet so was ember for a certain amount of time i saw it i was thinking huh this is kind of strange like why would it be that this is what would kind of turn things off you know what i mean like it just felt weird it it just felt fucking weird so i kind of thought about it as i didn't expect it but i've i don't know i noticed ghosty was kind of deal 
not kind of just point blank dealing with the worst fucking shit you can fucking imagine so as people may know i'm a very uh direct person whenever i'm being a fucking dick so a lot of people noticed i was going a lot easier on ghosty i'm thinking yeah it's it's a lot so there's there are different things going on I didn't know what the fuck happened in the background until I saw Ghosty's tweet of Ember was blowing up on Ghosty because of not wanting to just Ghosty was dealing with shit and this is me speaking human to human I know surprising but I was really thinking that a lot of this stuff just feels way too fucked and uh, I don't I don't think it's good to ever have to deal with that and to ever have to endure shit like that cuz I'm not going to pretend and say oh yeah I'm I'm the greatest fucking person because I am, obviously. <laughs> but I just... I don't know. Me being a fucking dumbass and saying, Hey, I'm a, I'm a empathize. Kind of popped up. But I do feel bad. I genuinely do. Because this kind of thing is fucking painful to deal with. So... But let's continue. I'm a computer for us for a second. Uh, he said the reason why we stopped, uh, st we stopped shit was because you had no damn empathy for me while I'm going through things with losing my mom. Uh, you got mad because of one simple mistake and bitched at me because I couldn't stick around to do your live broadcast on your channel. Uh, plus, I know for a fact that even after the first episode, you wanted to get rid of me. For what? No fucking reason. You were deaf. You were a deaf noodles fan and got a real sad when I said one idea of yours was stupid. You cried to me about it. Stop faking the accent. Uh, she replies to Ghosty saying, you got fired the first time as a joke, uh, as was the whole theme of our show. Yeah, I had a bad mood and maybe I was a bitch on the fourth filming of an episode. I apologize to you. I apologize to everyone involved. And I even told you I was taking a break. I understand you're mad. Uh, for everyone who has been asking me why the podcast ended, here you go. Ghosty was going through probably the hardest thing I could ever imagine. This is what Bunny tweeted, by the way. And he didn't deserve to be treated or spoken to the way he was. I had to walk away from it. All right, so now I got all three of them in the waiting, and I'm about to pull all of them right now. So let's, uh... You Matt, you moron! Ah, uh, yes, pull them all in at once. Great for content, bad for common sense. Hello, Nolan. Hello, 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 Nolan. Let me also pin the caller's server. There we go. We got Ember. Oh, this this is going to be good. We got Ghosty. And we got Bunny. All right. All right, ladies and gents. Uh, let's let's figure this out here. I've read all the tweets. They got uh, Everyone's got all the context. So, so what? Yes. Ghosty? What? I don't think you checked with Ghosty's mic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ghosty was working. Yeah, we had him. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we, we got all the context and everything. We're just, I'd like to have a conversation with you ladies. I'm not trying to start shit. By the way, we are putting this podcast out. So if anyone's like, oh, I don't want this coming out, leave now. <laughs> all right. Leave now. <laughs> y'all, y'all don't want this come out. Leave now. All right. Okay. So, but, uh, Ember, I'll start with you. Like, uh, from your side of the story, what's going on? I'm here to respond. As far as I was concerned, all of this was settled privately through DMs individually with, each party involved so i don't understand why we're here honestly you need to start with ghosty okay so uh i just wanted to see where you were at in the situation she uh as far as she's concerned uh everything was fine ghosty is everything fine no i actually have issues so our Ooh. last episode i couldn't record the night that we usually record which was friday nights i believe or saturday whichever i was having issues with my sound and i even gave them advice how to do it real quick and then i went to bed because 
I was really tired. I wake up to like hen house filed and something's fucked up. Come wake up. I go and then I kind of get yelled at for audio issues on Bunny's end because I did forget to tell her to double check the mic was Rick and her end on the recording. Okay. So you, you fucked up the recording is what you're saying. Basically, yes. I did miss a single thing and I got created for it. And I felt like I was given way too much shit for that little mistake. And keep in mind, I'm going through my own shit right now. And I've been told multiple times that it's okay. I know what you're going through, but it didn't feel like that. It just felt like I was just getting fucking fucked over. Okay. Opinion. Okay. Uh, before I continue, uh, Xylee has requested, can she come in as a neutral party? Or, or is anyone opposed to this? I don't think I don't think Xylee has anything to do with this. I don't know why she would need to come in. There's already neutral parties in this conversation. Okay, I'll tell her now. That's not uh, true. I am a little biased towards the clown. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Bunny, do you you are you backing up with Ghosty says? I am 100 backing up with Ghosty says. I mean, I wasn't gonna say anything until unless Ghosty was, you know, coming out with it himself or decided to himself, but um. Yeah, I thought it went way too far. It really just completely turned me off and made me not even want to work with her. That's ultimately why I backed out, which I thought was weird that she posted that we would all be back together as soon as we could. I, she, I, I didn't say together. I said we would all be back, as in back online making independent content because I knew Ghosty was taking a break. And when I posted that, I was planning on taking one myself. Okay. It just seemed everybody took that as we were on a well, break but we would all be back nothing about together and i made it very clear to anybody that asked me that the show was done so uh I, okay. i'll uh i'm i'm a i'm a neutral pa party here so i do want to say that she does say we are going to end the hen house podcast so when someone says end that means it's done uh yeah, I now had I a lot of people message me asking yeah. like that part confused a lot of people yeah so. and i can see i can see <laughs> I um I am oh what are you? Hello Sand Nest. I I did not read it in the way of oh hey this is um I did not read it as oh yeah this is them taking a break. I was like yeah no this shit got fucking ended and I was just like, that was it until I learned more of the context of what was going on. Like, how do I explain it? I was, I was kind of re, I, I have to contextualize it with my own experiences. So I do apologize chat, but I, I saw it and I read it as what happened to me and ollie ollie basically him and i parted ways at least in a major difference him and i were on good terms just like hey slug you fucked up i'm done x y and z i'm not going to like stop being your friend x y and z but so different circumstances i would try and word it as but i've seen how a lot of this could be seen as this idea of oh they're taking a break Ooh -woo. <laughs> but i get some people being confused by it i just don't see the point in all so that's my take because of course i i am a mollusk i'm a mollusk of infinite wisdom but you know infinite wisdom only goes so far so it's it's very interesting took it as she said taking a break yeah i personally didn't I'm not gonna blame anyone who did. See where you're coming from. We're, we're, we well, will I all be back. Well, I apologize for any unnecessary confusion. I did try to make it clear that the podcast was ending, so I apologize. Okay. 
Uh, Ghosty, is there anything else? That was the only issue? Um, <laughs> another issue was at the end of our latest recording, I couldn't really stick around to do um, a sudden live stream that everyone popped up. And keep in mind, I don't really know how to do this stuff. I'm kind of new to it, sad to say. But I'm like, I had family over. I had them in the back. I'm like, I can't really talk that much. I can't do a live stream. And then I got like this sassy attitude from everybody like, oh, then just go ahead and leave. And then that pissed me off because I'm going through my own shit. And I just You're that. discussing things that all happened in the same day that in the DMs I apologized to you for. And then the DMs you said we were good. And well, now yeah, you're. I'm going to say that because I was fucking pissed off and I didn't want to hear then... your feelings. I was being the nice guy. Well, what do you think now... you're doing now? I'm pissed off. Well, you were pissed off then. So what has changed? Because I haven't said anything to you. What has he's changed? Acting, he's dealing with a lot of shit considering he really just lost his mom. I mean, I don't know. <laughs> well, if what he's has saying that he didn't want to deal with it and now we're here, this is more than dealing with it. Maybe because well, people have been changed, asking why it ended. Why shouldn't he tell the truth? Ooh. Ooh. This shit got spicy. So. <coughs> nah. Uh, I can at least say this for Ghosty. He's he's one of the he's non-confrontational. It fucking annoys the shit out of me. Because me, Latino, fucking goblin man. My view on it is I love chaos. I love chaos. But Ghosty is a good little noodle that just likes his hot chalky milk. And, uh, wants to be a little dude sometimes. Like, that's all. He just wants to be a little dude. But, I can't say that I'm all too shocked that the podcast fell apart. It's nothing against Ember or, or Bunny. It's more just, well, it was a weird little heiress from Billy and Mandy. Yeah! I am just as hot too. Like, goddamn, look at me go. But I'm getting off track. I'm getting off track. Ember, she is complicated, at least in my eyes. I don't view her as an openly malicious person. I view her as fucking tone deaf at times. Because I've I've I view her just as like Southern Latina take this from a guy who's had enough sex with them that I'm just like well southern latinas have fucking fire to them and sometimes y'all don't know when to shut the fuck up because you're going to get us both shot it's that type of thing that I've noticed and like I don't have an issue with ghosty I truly truly don't while I may think, yeah, he's a little cringe and some of his ideas are cringe, I don't think that it's, <laughs> I don't think it's okay for like anyone to pop up and yell at him while he's dealing with the death of his mom. Because like Sen said earlier, there are levels to things. Like there are levels to how to react to certain things how to deal with certain situations and ah uh, it's it's not it's it's just very different in a sense because you you get used to certain things you get used to ways certain people will treat you or treat each other and it kind of devolves in a sense after a little while because at that point you're kind of viewing it as a larger situation than it would be but again that's just my take it's not the take it's my take and I don't think I don't think ghosty is being malicious with his uh with his view of this his mom fucking died and this is me kind of speaking on the fact that i know a little bit more 
of uh, what was going on. And Ghosty can tell me if he wants me to kind of say what the hell I know. It's up to him. Because, you know, chat, I'm going to be I'm going to be a lot nicer tonight. And it's it's pretty fucking. It sucks. It's fucking awful. But let's continue. What has changed ever is what Bunny told me afterwards when I left that call. You had said, oh, my God, what? I'm still here. I and I'm still dealing with all this bullshit. It would okay, be a different don't, fucking... don't out like my personal information, Matt. Please edit that out because the internet does not need my personal business, and I don't. I have not chosen to out that, and don't appreciate Bunny. Or er, I'm sorry, Bunny. Ghosty outing it now. Well, I do apologize for that. But what I don't appreciate is that you are comparing that to me losing my fucking mother. I'm not getting paid to do this shit. It would be a different fucking story. Oh, and I had paid. a conversation with you after that conversation with Bunny too, where I apologized to you again. Yeah, you apologize like hours after. If you do, okay, great. Uh, if you don't accept my apology, whenever that apology came, then that's your choice. But I offered an apology. I ended the podcast on what I thought was good terms with both of you, and um, again, sorry, but Ghosty, I don't know what else you want me to say, Bunny. I'm sorry, Ghosty. I'm sorry. What more can I do? I've removed myself from online since then. I haven't watched videos. I haven't been tweeting. I've trying to work on my own shit i get it i i i acted um poorly i said things out of character for myself or whatever i take responsibility for my part of it and apologize what more can i do i have some basic human empathy isn't that what, what an apology is Josie? an apology is a sincere apology and then okay if you don't I... my apology is sincere then that's on you yeah uh i i had a question ghosty um she she's saying she's sorry right now i'm not I'm not taking away the fact that you don't accept it or anything, but what, what make what makes it not sincere to you? Just like the wording that she used in DMs, I can't find it now because I think she just deleted it. I can't really find it. But was like, it on Discord? It was on Discord. I actually found okay. it right here. So what really kind of set me off was just, I'm taking a break for a month. I need to yada, yada, yada. And all I got was like an okay. Like basic human empathy but like okay i hope you're right doing well. i said okay like, in response to you when i was in the middle of doing something so that you knew i saw your message but we did come back and talk about that in a voice call and at length in dms did i go back again and again and say i'm here for you whatever you need ghosty like don't make it sound like i showed you no empathy ever now, now is, is what she's saying true she said okay yeah, is, and then she true. called you and then you guys talked at length about it was she sincere in that voice call was she insincere when you talked at length about it in my opinion, it didn't seem sincere. It just felt like she was just covering her ass. And it wasn't a private call. It was just in a call when we all got together to do the podcast. Right. And there's not continuous DMs of me telling you that I'm there for you. There wasn't Snapchat conversations of me saying yeah. I'm there for you. I, I never said you didn't say that. How you feel that this isn't sincere. But what we're talking about is a day where I had a bad day. And in that moment, everything was pissing me off. I should have logged out. I made the wrong decision and I take accountability for that. But that doesn't make every other apology and every other kind word and empathetic word I gave you insincere. It doesn't. Well, I mean, the, the ranting about Ghosty fucking up lasted a hot fucking minute. Like, I mean, you went on and on and on and on and it wasn't right, until you We're listening to the now recording. But, yeah, seeing the fact that that rant went on for a long-ass time does not build much confidence in me that this was, like, a one-time deal. Because you can have bad days. Trust me, I've had them. I've had very bad days before. Like, I've had bad days. I've had days where I've fucking lost my goddamn shit. I have... I have seen it. I have... I have seen it. I have done it. I've had bad days. But, like... As Sen said at an earlier point, there are levels... There truly, truly are levels to things. And 
as vague as I am, and I know that's annoying chat, but still. There, there are levels to things, and I don't think a lot of people are really going to get what I'm saying. That's fine. It's, it's going to take a while. Yeah. And if you thought I should, if you should apologize, and I say, uh, yeah. And you told me you understood where I was coming from, money. I still understand why you're mad. I understand why you're mad, but I definitely don't understand you not having empathy for somebody that just lost their mama. Like that's to me, I'm and sorry, that's but that's was, an insane I person right there. I'm sorry that you feel that way. I've apologized again to both of you. I don't know what more I can do. Mm. Uh, well, it, it sounds like we've been hit an impasse here where, uh, Ghosty, you don't you don't see this as sincere. Bunny, do you see Ember as being sincere here? Do you think she means what she's saying? I mean, I think if um she hadn't talked to me and found out that I thought it was fucking crazy the way she acted. I don't think she would have apologized. Okay, I think so, she would have gone and found another producer and... So what you're saying is, she said what she said to Ghosty. She talked to you about it, or Ghosty either told you about it, or she talked... And then you turned to Ember and been like, yo, that's fucked up. And yeah, then she Ghost talked left, to her. Yeah, after she... Uh, when Ghosty couldn't help her on something that was just like fucking random that she wanted to do and she flipped out about that me and her sat and talked for a minute and she asked me if i thought that she was like in the wrong because she said am i being a bitch and i said well yeah kind of and she said well should i apologize yeah you probably should like but i really don't think that it because she was still fucking mad about it even when we got off the call then like i still wasn't sure if she was gonna apologize or not <laughs> okay uh ember any retort to that I mean, that's definitely not how the call went. Me venting to Bunny was me thinking that I was in a call with someone that was my friend that I could vent about my frustrations to that I was feeling in that moment. That was my way of blowing off scene. Oh my God. Like, here's the thing. I've had people fucking flip out on me for shit I've said in private calls. So I can't, I can't personally can't just be like oh yeah i get what you're saying because it's also the thing of well i i don't get it i just don't get the whole argument of oh hey don't talk about this thing that we had a conversation about in private because this is something i tell people that i know in real life always when you're talking to another person always assume that they're either recording or that this conversation's going public doesn't matter how doesn't matter when it's always going to end up getting publicized that's something that a lot of people need to understand don't know why i'm doing a yeehaw accent i'm sorry i'm sorry lovelies but God dug dim a damn. But let's continue. I went and apologized to Ghosty during that call. She did not advise me to apologize to Ghosty. She told me I that I didn't have to apologize to Ghosty if I didn't feel like it was necessary and that she could understand why I was mad. She doesn't agree with the things that I said, and I support her on that. I don't agree with some of the things I said either, but I was just mad and venting. I did not think that this was going to result in this. I was not trying to be cruel to Literally. Go ahead, Bunny. Uh, no, nah, no, nah, it's funny. Okay. I just I'll just say this one thing. Listen, uh, as someone who, me, Beavers, Mitch, has been a little around for a little while, Core, uh, we've been doing this podcast for uh, almost 10 months, but nine or 10 months. And uh, sometimes we have ran into issues where uh, there's some internal drama where we are discussing things, we yell at each other. Uh, we go back and forth, we have issues, uh, and that shit happens, bro. And that happens, you know, and it's, and it's all depends on how well you guys mesh and how, if you can talk through it and discuss it. Well, there was it. no option to talk through it or discuss it. Everybody just bounced and now I'm the monster. So you're right. Shit happens and people have bad days and people say people have the wrong takes and say the wrong things. And I'm saying I said the wrong thing and I've apologized to everybody. But there yeah. was no room for discussion. There was no room for anything. So it is what it is. I don't. That's why I don't know why I got here. Everybody just wanted it to end. So I tried to make a post to say, hey, it's ending without putting any fault anywhere and just letting it be that. Just letting it die so that there was no drama for anybody. So that everybody could have peace. 
Yeah. Because I'm the one that fucked it up, so I thought the best I could do was give everybody peace. Yeah. Uh, Bunny or Ghosty, you guys got anything to say to that? I don't think there's anything wrong with Ghosty coming out and saying what actually happened. I mean, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. It's something that really affected him, and it may have taken him a few days to get it out, but there ain't nothing wrong with him saying what actually happened. Uh, Ghosty, anything to say? No, nothing right now. Well, Ghosty's telling me that I don't have any empathy, but this is just a turn in not having any empathy for me since he knows that I have live shit going on and that I may be in a bad mental space and he just wants to kick me while I'm down and that doesn't feel necessary. The thing is, Ember Lily, you know damn well that there was a lot of shit you said in those VCs about the situation that you don't want being said right now so you can act all innocent about it. I'm but I know what you said. I acted innocent. I literally just said that it was my <laughs> fault that it ended. I'm not acting Okay, I'm talking about, about the empathy anything. part, Amber Lily. You want to talk like, oh, I didn't have empathy for a second. No, you went no, on. I'm even after one Ghosty left. doesn't deserve another. One firm doesn't deserve <laughs> another is what I'm trying to say. Uh, you play innocent, but so somebody it, it, with ain't going to continue to say the shit that you said. Nobody is playing innocent. I'm not asking for anyone's empathy or anyone's shit. I'm saying that I tried to I tried to end it in peace, and if he wants to come out and say his side, that's fine. But we're not going to pretend like I've never been nice or done anything for Ghosty, because that's just not true. Yeah. Uh, has she done nice things for you, Ghosty? I mean, she's been there for me. She's argued say, for but... you. She has argued for you with us. Yeah, I'll give her that, yes. Okay. That has been the thing. Yeah. Look, I don't want to make it look like I'm taking Ember's side here. This is 2v1, and I just want to make sure Ember gets the, the fairest shot possible. Uh, okay. No, I get that. I, I get that. I hope, I hope you guys understand that I'm not I'm not trying to take a side. I'm just simply yeah. trying to give Ember the, the uh, as fair as I can be with Ember. Because it does suck when you're, you you have this idea for a part of podcast. And the podcast was... Uh, oh, my God. Matt. Like, I get Matt wants to be objective and a lot of this shit. Like, I'm I'm not going to lie. Yeah, Ember fucked up. I just also don't see a point in trying to s be against someone saying what actually happened. Because, <laughs> as you said, things will come out no matter what. But what do I know? And, uh, I'm not reveling in this. No way in hell am I. I'm just pointing out something. Maggot Editsa Edusi. Hello, hello, hello. But this, this whole thing just felt really fucking weird. It just felt like it was, I don't know. It just felt weird. Like it unironically just felt weird. This was really good. You two ladies worked very well with each other on screen. Ghosty, although cringe as he is, it was a funny addition, especially when he breathed really loud into the mic. Uh, but <laughs> but the, the thing is, is when stuff like this happens and, uh, and Ember's seeing Bunny leave or she doesn't want to be a part of it and Ghosty's coming on, I can see where Ember's coming from. I can see where how she wanted this project to work and now it's not working and now it's in shambles and now she's got to deal with it, you know? And that sucks. That does suck. So I do uh, I do feel empathy for Ember in that situation, but I also feel empathy, you know, for, you know, how Ghosty feels and how Bunny feels. It, it just, it's just the fact that, like, if you guys can't work this out, then it just didn't work out, you know? Um, you, you la ladies, move on, find something new that you want to do. I, it sucks because you two worked very well with each other. Uh, Bunny, uh, I did want to ask, uh, was there any issues before this with, uh, during the podcast that you, uh, experienced or was this like the one, one and done type of deal? I mean, there was definitely other stuff. There was plenty of other stuff. I mean, I even messaged Ghosty. When was it Ghosty after the first episode and said, I don't think this is going to work out. Yeah. I mean, there was definitely, uh, things that bothered me from the get go. Uh, did, did you want to go into it or you just want to keep that off the table? I mean, there was um, a good bit of just, I, I felt like it was a feeling of like, I felt like somebody wanted to wear my skin, if you know what I mean. Like, I don't know. There was a lot of like taking phrases that I use all the time 
and use them taking jokes that I would just have said and then she'll turn around on the podcast and say exactly word for word something I was about to say because I just said it a minute ago even in the re-recording that we did <laughs> she, she literally took like every good joke I said the night before and used it on the second recording um that, that was just a lot of stuff that like to me like I'm a fucking clown all I have is my fucking jokes don't take my jokes from me <laughs> like, Bernie, I know it's not a big deal call... but when it's over and over again it does start getting under your skin Bernie, did okay. you ever come and talk to me about any of them I tried to see how long I could put up with it but you never came and talked to me about any because of them feel... wait can we talk about a bunny suit oh Oh, bunny suit, bunny suit clown porn, <gasps> bunny suit clussy. Okay, now I'm actually just being a fucking DJ. I am sorry, chat. I am sorry. That was DJ mode slug. That was wide people stinky. That was just wide people stinky. Like, God, Doug, dim a damn. But in all reality, like, the onus falls on those who caused it. And, like, I don't hate Ghosty. I don't want that to be the perspective that is going on. At least from my, from my point. Because I don't hate him. I just think he's cringe. That's it. I just think he's a stinky little dude. I just think that he's just a little dude. He's a little guy with little forehead. Like he's he's a little guy. And that's it. That's all I think of him as, but I don't hate him. So this was I can I can say this. I can definitely say this. I did not and this is just me. Again, just me, chat. I personally did not think um, the show would last very long, at least because of how the whole dynamic was. Because we have Ghosty, a non-confrontational dude, just being like, well, like, what is there? What is there to really do at that point? Like, are you supposed to just take it, just deal with it, or, like, address it is kind of my question. But I know how some people would take it, being like, oh, hey, they keep doing my bit. That's, at least in my eyes, feels like the same stupid fucking argument that, like, Salvo would try and do, like, er... I I am I am Salvo Pancake. I am I am funny haha -ha man. I go pee pee poo poo. But in reality you're freaking out in the background saying, Oh, they're stealing my bits. My bit So I can understand where um at least Bunny is coming from. Um oh boy. Hello, old man. Hello. Let me turn on my screen share. Because I gotta help the elderly. I gotta help do you, the old man. Do you have the uh, um, accessibility options up? You know, put it in bigger screen? Um, no. You gotta suffer. I'm only helping you so much, old man. <laughs> But yeah. I feel like this is something that you shouldn't have well, to say. Well, I feel insulted. How have you been, Rev? Though, how have you been? I've been, I've been all right. I, I the only thing I gotta say, man, is change your fucking wallpaper or whatever the fuck's going on in your room because that shit looks like a hospital. What the fuck's wrong with my room, dude? I <laughs> don't. I, it just. You just it, don't like the paint. It looks like a fucking hospital room, dude. You look like a hospital room. The fuck are you talking about? Hey, if I was going to be an interior decorator for hospital rooms, that one looks atrocious. I'm sorry. <laughs> I 
How many times do we need to teach you this lesson, old man? Hey, age before beauty, so. Yeah, I'm beautiful, you're not. I'm, I'm like I said, I'm like a fine wine. An expired one, but yes. Wine doesn't expire. Just the uh, alcohol content might turn into vinegar, and I'm definitely full of piss and vinegar, so. Mmm, piss. Look at you go. <laughs> so you didn't get yeeted off Twitter again, did you? Um, I got timed out. I got put in gay baby jail. Because For I was too cool time? one week again. That fucking sucks. <laughs> I got put in gay baby jail again. So what did you say this time? I I basically just was direct with Ruby. I was being a little noodle chat. I was being a little noodle. Or a goblin. I I I prefer the term noodle. Thank you very much. I'm going to call bullshit. I am a good noodle, I swear. But I mean, it is kind of funny though for how badass these fucking people like to, you know, spit game. They sure they sure are sensitive sallies. Yeah. I don't know because like I knew I know some of them. I've known of uh Ember's thing that was going on in the background I knew of that like before anyone else and I kept my mouth shut on it because it's like it's not my place to say shit so yeah I honestly don't know enough about anything honestly is that your theme song for the millennia or um no it's just more or less like I haven't paid attention or invested much energy into it, I don't think. I doubt it. It's because you're white people old. That too. I mean, I got to remember to use the bathroom properly and how to wipe my ass. I mean, those are yeah the basic night functions. Nurse. And I guess you fired the night nurse. Yeah, she had too thick of a mustache. It was thicker than mine. Too thick of a mustache, dude. You could have gotten the the yeehaw rides. No, no. Wow. See, chat. Rev is against women with body hair. How sexist. No, I'm against women with unibrows. Well, were you just mad that her mustache looked better than yours? Come yes. on, Rev. Be honest. I'm, I'm... Hello? Well, Hello? chat, Rev, Rev has officially died. We can now quote this stream <laughs> on his death certificate. Yes, clip it. I'm dead. I'm gone. Thank God, chat. Rev is dead. We are going to sell his penis on eBay. Rip. Nah, but at least me explaining this to you, an outsider with all of it, um... I don't think that the I did, I personally didn't think that any of this was going to go well like in terms of the project as a whole. They ran a small podcast and all of that. Oh, well, I mean yeah. it 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 is what it is. I mean, you can't necessarily I don't know, from an outside perspective rely too heavily on a lot of internet personalities especially conflicts you know with a bunch of people that you don't know so yeah if they, if that makes sense no i i get that but my only counter to that would be like my streams as a whole then you you're, know what i mean you you're the one that you you do your own streams you're big basically you're the sole you can determine who you want on, who you, what conversations you want to have, all of that shit. So, I mean, it's your channel. It's your content. So, you're not, you don't have to give in to anybody's demands. And you don't, so. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's true. But it's still, like, 
I'm viewing this as like, oh, hey, creator to creator type of argument. Well, I've been, I haven't created anything for almost oh, a fucking year, over a year now. So I, I personally, I don't know, either I'm a lazy piece of shit or I just haven't been inspired because honestly, there's just, eh. it could be that you're just so old that operating a computer is like having a heart attack. No, no, or, or, here's an idea, maybe I go the fuck outside and I interact with real people. <gasps> nah, nah, you're just old. Well, just old people, old, old people, old people sometimes need to go outside and get some fresh air, old, get stimulated. Old people, old people don't get bitches. Oh yeah, they do. Oh yeah, at the nursing home, they have those elderly orgies. Well, yeah, <laughs> the caretakers. That's, host. I mean, you know, that's like, that's like the best place to pick up chicks. <laughs> you you gotta make sure, chat, when you're elderly, go to the old people orgies. Oh, six is trying to call me out. What? I interact with people. Yes, I do. I interact with people in real life. Your wife doesn't count. Oh, I interact with more people than that too. But you know, hey. Your lobsters don't count. I feel attacked. Six. <laughs> why don't you get in here? Let's let's have the New Yorker attack the elderly. Because I would love that. I would love seeing the elderly get out get just bullied. Because I think it would be fun. Good haha <laughs> funny moment. Well, I don't think that there's anything else that anybody can do to embarrass me since I've already embarrassed myself enough. So, I mean. Are you sure? I think so. I. I Are you I sure? What are you implying? I actually don't know. Because I didn't think I'd get as far with that joke. But at least with all of how these things have gone, I don't think that many more of these like smaller podcasts are going to survive for a long period of time. Because at the end of the day, it's all personality based and not a lot of people have the personality for this shit. Like, I barely have the personality for it. I'm just a little dude. Well, you're not wrong. You definitely don't have a personality to it. I mean, you don't you spoke have a, a little, fucking personality, if you, you spoke goddamn a little, elderly boomer. If you, you spoke a little faster, fucking boomer. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I heard the debate, the, the fight you got into a cat last night. So, but anyway. Wait, um, who's cat? I don't, I don't fucking know. Somebody had a cat and you were debating a cat. Oh. I won that debate, thank you very much. So. So what I was going to say was, um, when it comes to the podcasts, I think the thing is, is that it is actually quite the booming market. It's just more or less dependent on the, to the, the content that you use that isn't saturated for one. It's finding an actually decent podcast platform that you can do it because it seems to be a lot more, uh, I guess you'd say, prevalent because it's literally an untapped market. Like YouTube, for instance, you've got what, 48 million fucking users on this platform, billions, I don't know. But in the podcast market, there's like, what, maybe less than 2 million, about 2 million. So yeah. it's, so I mean, it literally decides, it depends on what platform you're using, and what content you're actually gonna create and what actually draws in the audience that keeps them uh, listening to the content you're creating. Yeah, like I could start a penis podcast and I just have women on. That's the whole gag for it. Like, oh, hey, welcome to the penis podcast. X, Y, and or, Z. Her, da, da. Or, or you can get creative if you do a penis podcast, right? You introduce it and let the women run the show. And then they yeah. can talk about, yeah, male, male anatomy. And you just kind of, you know, sit in the background, maybe pop in every now and again, get bullied a little bit. You might have something. Yeah, it's content. Like, I view a lot of this as, like, for example, 
I view other YouTubers as like co-workers that I don't have a choice in interacting with. So it's less of, oh, I'm having a great time here, ooh woo. It's like, okay, I'll make the best of this fucking garbage situation. I mean, it would make sense, because honestly, you definitely do have, like, the custodial department, you know, that cleans cleans up shit that everybody leaves in the bathroom. Uh, you've got the egotistical narcissist, you know, douchebag dude, the, uh, the high school clique, so... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I'm not I'm wrong. That's the no, thing. That's a pretty. That's a that's a pretty decent observation, to be honest. You're just somebody that's trying to get your paycheck, and everybody else is just <laughs> fucking it up for you. They're all over here, like, oh hey, come here. Oh hey, come here. I'm like, I'm doing my fucking job, you stupid fucking whore. <laughs> yeah, and even that at the time, he's just like, hey man, my shit's fucking up. Maybe I should call IT, and it takes him five hours to fucking respond after you put in a ticket. So yeah so it's it's just a pain in the ass well and the thing is though too is that you got everybody that's running the same idea so it's like youtube is a platform that has so many fucking ideas it's overly saturated and it doesn't matter which which community that you're involved in it's just it doesn't take long that you can be like, hey, I'm going to go look at true crime, or I'm going to look at horror, or I'm going to go look at sci-fi, or I'm going to look at anime, or movie reviews, and fucking commentary, and all this bullshit, and it's just literally pages upon pages upon pages of the same shit, and you're just like, god damn, which personality do I want to subscribe to? <laughs> you could do what I do and do penis ratings, but not just penises, turtle. I mean, I could actually start something that doesn't have to do with penises, but it does happen to do with the female anatomy, because I have experience working in an adult bookstore. So... Porn reviews! Oh, yeah. wait. I thought you were going to do reading lessons for illiterate, horny people. No, that's a waste of time. Honestly. What do you mean? Why can't, why can't, time. why can't people be horny? Why? They can't, no, people can be. Just don't go online and start spreading your fucking weird shit, man. Because nobody wants mean? to know about that. What do you mean? I want to spread how I like to put my penis on top of the Xbox One. <laughs> then go find a fucking group that does that shit. <laughs> you're, Just don't you're, do it. You're, you're, you're uh, my, you are the basis of my penis flopping what do you mean <laughs> oh so now i'm now i'm the arbiter of your of your your cock and balls huh yes so i could tell you exactly where to put it absolutely i'm going to put i want it I, okay on, so i want left nut i want i want a signed contract that you just basically <laughs> uh gave away your rights for me to control your pecker my noodle my noodle has been sold into slavery so anybody can clip this. Honestly, Slug gave me full rights to his penis. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. But am I wrong on saying like YouTube and YouTubers interacting with other creators? All it is is just like interacting with coworkers that you're only nice to because they're your coworkers, not because you want to. No, you're not wrong because it literally comes down to it's like, oh hey, I gotta play nice with this asshole just to kind of see if we can benefit each other in some you know like uh, I don't know inner you know deal that's going on that's gonna boost our fucking ratings and our numbers. I mean. It's to me how I see it is how everybody is like you said like coworkers, but it's uh, more or less trying to sit there and say that hey, how are we gonna boost our numbers and our ratings, um, you know, by our audience by creating controversy, like reality TV for instance. You got people that watch like uh, Housewives of Jersey Shore or The Bachelor or Survivor and all that shit. Majority of that shit's fucking fake, and yeah. you know it's fake. But then you look at the YouTube landscape, exactly like what you're saying is that everybody's like, hey, you know what? Content's dead. Let's go ahead and create debunk controversy or start shit or take things it's out of context. It's not even that. Like, certain things do just pop up. 
That's just how it is sometimes. Like, certain shit just happens. No, and I agree. And that's the juicy stuff. I mean, don't get me wrong. If there's something that just to- totally happens that's completely off the fucking rails and it's just utter chaos, I'm like, yeah, dude, I'm going to fucking rubberneck that shit and watch the fuck out of it. But yeah. if it's something that seems like it's, com- you know, perpetuated, you know, everybody's just, it's like, it's like uh, basically chumming the waters, you know? And you got sharks that are just circling around and be like, hey, you know what? I want to be the first to jump on this story. And then, like, not even w- within 12 Here's... hours or a fucking week, you got channel saturated with the same fucking content it's just like god damn who broke the nose for news first this is the competition just sucks this is why whenever i'm searching up a topic i sort by date that's fair that's fair like i broke the story on the craig beckett stuff people well, like to i know. think it's tipster but like you know what i mean I'm going to be honest with you, just because I don't happen to be going around and fucking interacting with everybody on Discord and blah, 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 doing all this shit, I do, I do lurk and I do watch. Yeah. Because, you know, I, like I said, I mean, I find train wrecks fascinating. Yeah. I rubberneck. I like rubbernecking. Yes. The elderly. They're learning. I fall asleep to true crime, so you're not wrong there. Yeah. The elderly are wacky and wild creatures. That's because they hit a stage in their life to where they just don't give a shit anymore. It's either that or they just get so horny that the fucking, that law enforcement needs to get involved. Okay, those are called pedophiles. I'm not one of them, so. Oh, no, I'm not implying that. No, I mean, if you're getting horny and law enforcement has to get involved, there's definitely something wrong there. Look. We can blame the Republicans later. Oh yeah, we can. We can because now we got the uh, the Chinese spy balloons. Oh my fucking god! It's still some of the dumbest fucking thing, but that's that's something else. It, but... Have you seen? Have you seen everybody sitting there saying that they should shoot it down? It's just like what fucking gun can actually travel eleven miles into fucking space You'd, to shoot down a balloon? You would need to actually get. A fucking jet out there that'd be a waste jet. of taxpayer money like, jets can't even hit fucking 55,000 miles or 55,000 feet in the, in the air I mean the pilot would fucking start blacking out and losing you know so there's no point just yeah. let it, it it's a fucking balloon just let it float let I mean, it float <laughs> and I mean honestly everybody's gonna be like well what are the Chinese spying on us about it's like bro Okay, for one, you're carrying a phone in your pocket to where the government actually tracks your location and actually listens in on you so you can actually get, uh, I don't know, um, algorithm-based advertising on your fucking phone. And a lot of these dumb shit... Yeah, and and a lot of these dumb shits have TikToks. So why are you worried about the fucking Chinese spy balloon when you're already getting spied on? By the fucking Chinese government. Because this was And the FBI. FBI, all that. Here's the thing, at least for me, I'd rather be spied on by the American government than the Chinese government. If you got spied, you would be the most boring motherfucker for the FBI and the CIA. No offense, they, man. No, you're not wrong. I'd just be like, I found a piece of soup. Look at me go. Like yeah, yeah, and then and the next thing you know, that one guy's keep like, oh, he's talking about soup. That must be code for something. Let's get him, guys. Go. Then I'm over here with a fucking pot of soup. FBI raids my house for soup. The FBI the, raided my house for what? Soup. And it was human flavored soup. Mmm, soup. If you ever understand the amount of soup. I mean, isn't that how you normally get rid of victims anyway? You make a lot of soup. Because, I mean, you can definitely get a good bone stock going on. Eh, human's too gamey. I don't know. I've I've never tried human cooked. I've tried it raw, though. Ah, so booba. Very wise. Very wise. Indeed, indeed. Hell, boobra. I don't know. Human flesh tastes better when it's fresh. I don't know, man. I like mine marinated and the marinussy. Oh, no. You just, no. 
though. <laughs> uh, no, but there are a lot of things that go on that I personally, personally, I try and keep a lot of things to my chest, at least for like politics or like personal opinions on certain things. Cause I'm thinking I'd much rather have like everything be a mystery in terms of like what I believe in on certain things so that if need be I'm able to get the upper hand it's opportunistic it's fucking selfish but it's better for my survival no that's fair I mean online I'll, I'll admit this I'm, I'm 100% an atheist I don't believe in God. I don't believe in any of that bullshit. I, I look at, uh, I don't know, different types of philosophies, different, different, um, I, I ideologies. Uh, Satanism is another thing. Um, politically, I guess you could say political I, Satanism or a legitimate. Yeah. Satanism. Yeah. See, I'm okay. So I guess you can say when it comes to, uh, politics, I'm a left leaning, uh, liberal Satanist, you know, so you're, um, a, so a, you're a lobster. I'm a demon worshiper that basically feels no, like no, human no. sacrifice you're, is you're a, a thing. You're a little lobster. You're a little lobster. Look and at you go. You're a little I am. lobster. And I and I cut out the pituitary glands of of kids and human sacrifices so I can actually get their adrenochrome so I can live longer. <laughs> That's so retarded. <laughs> ah, just the retarded fucking thing. I know, but that's what lefties do. Oh, totally. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Nah, but... In all seriousness, a lot of this stuff just boils down to stupid shit. The ghosty and everyone type of deal just feels... I don't know. It just feels like it is what it is at this point because of really fucking dumb circumstances but let's continue with the video i'm screen sharing by the way oh yeah i'm sorry i didn't mean to distract you person, yeah. I don't know, but it's, it's not fair to, to crucify me for something that you never told me i was doing i, maybe, I, I don't know maybe it wasn't something i was aware i was doing or i was i don't know how you, you can't be aware that sure you're like fun. saying word for word shit somebody else says and maybe but... i'm repeating it because i thought what you said was funny and i wanted to make sure that it made it into the next episode when you're filming an episode four times there are certain parts and you don't think okay so you don't think i'm gonna reset when i when we said okay we're just gonna try and redo everything we did the night before you didn't think i was gonna just re-say the shit i'm sorry you feel that way but honey you should come and talk to me about it like that's like grown folk shit right there you if you got a problem come and talk to me that's not that's not that deep you didn't go see about it so I, I just that's I feel petty. like a normal person would know that they're doing something like that. Well, and I feel like it's petty to go talk to Ghosty about it, not me. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, damn. Oh uh, boy. Ghosty before I was friends with you, you know that, right? Well, me too. Okay, so why why do you think it's weird that I would talk to Ghosty about stuff? Well, because you were such good friends with me, and if it's a problem with me, why wouldn't you just come talk to me? I wasn't so much as a problem as much as an I irritation. I care about you and respect you enough that I would have corrected anything that you told me I was doing. Okay. So okay. I'm sorry for the things that I did since episode one that made you mad, Bunny, but I didn't know that I was making you mad. It's just felt like a lot of the stuff was obvious and I was waiting on you to fucking, I don't know, be a normal person. Uh, there to was be fair, right? To be fair, I think I think the problem you would run into with something like that is even if somebody comes to you and they say, oh, you're stealing my jokes or whatever, I think the end result would have been the same. There would have been animosity involved. Yeah. So I don't exactly. think that would have been a I don't think that would have been a productive conversation. So what you're saying, Beavers, is, is, is Bunny was probably hesitant because it might start shit, you know? Yeah, Bunny was, because well, obviously Bunny when you go and you tell somebody... to be friendly to my face if she felt some sort of animosity that feels two-faced and like some girl <laughs> shit. I don't know if it's two-faced. I think it's just one of those things where it's like, uh, I, I this is uh, something I guess I got to get used to. Bunny, is so that she like... She was my friend until two hours ago, until until Ghosty decided to out all this and now she hates me? It doesn't make sense. I hated you, Lily. 
you unfollowed me on Twitter, you left the Discord, Ghosty unfollowed me, left the Discord, Cooter unfollowed me, like, you don't see... This is why whenever Bunk is doing, like, debates, I just ignore it. I don't watch Bunk debate for a reason, Maggie. And Ember, if you're watching this, I'm just letting you know, I'm saying this as strange as it'll sound, I care. I know I'm able to care about people. It's super wacky and wild. We learn new things every day. But there's only so much you can really do for someone. But it's just... Ember has this thing where she's a real person dealing with online people. Not like real people dealing with real people. If that makes any sense at all. You mean like interacting in the in the wild? Yeah. Like going out touching booba. I mean, it is impossible. By the way, since I know that you're currently on a timeout in Twitter, I tagged you in a Twitter post, and you're probably going to hate it. I'm going to fucking take away your left ventricle so you fucking die. You, you already, fuck. you already, You already gave up your rights, bro. I hate you so much more than I already did. I'm gonna sell that shit on eBay. Why fucking eBay? Because I might get a higher price for it. I don't know. Who it's the like fuck collecting... would buy it? Who the fuck would buy the rights that, to okay, some so, small YouTuber's now, okay, penis? So now that is a question that you have to ask yourself, Slug. Not me. Chat, Rev is a fucking stupid old man. <laughs> got him but as as I tried to say before Rev was a stinky boomer um there's only so much a lot of people can do at this point and I don't know a lot of this is just fucking dumb I get Ember wants to kind of be like oh yeah dur, 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 dur. I don't it's just weird to me it's all just fucking weird because I see all of this go on at least in the background for me so I'm kind of thinking well ooh woo but okay so my, my okay go ahead sorry Never actually mind. nah what were you gonna say I, I lost my train of thought honestly uh, I'm gonna go smoke you play your video but uh, See the pattern there? I left the Discord because Abby's there. You know I don't people like don't want to see their stuff. Why are you gonna have Abby in there? Okay, all right. Like well, her? Bunny, there you go. You unfollowed me immediately after Ghosty posted this shit. But wait, wait. They didn't let me in the Discord, but they let Abby Fatberg in. What the shit? What the fuck, man? Like, how am I worse than fucking Abby Blackbird? What the shit? This is bullshit. Like, goddamn. I don't know whether to be mad or hurt. What the fuck? Like, goddamn. What do I do? I'm just a little dude. Eh, what's up, old lady? <laughs> Into the book barrel. The barrel what? book. Why are you so mean? I'm not mean. I'm a little goblin. Old people aren't a bad thing. But in all seriousness, I, I'm i still thinking the fucking shit Ember pulled was dumb. Didn't hear the whole thing. Um, I'm listening to it now. In the in that dis in the Discord, really? So they're okay with fucking Abby Blackbird 
But I'm not allowed in? Fuck them. Jesus Christ. Like, really? I can't hear it. Oh, I'm not playing it yet. I'm just like, Jesus. Here's my thing. I've done a lot of shit for people. Yeah, Abby's yeah, yeah. actually worse chat. Abby's actually fucking malicious. I'm over here just like, I'm, I'm only a little dude. Okay, so we got the pansexual flag and the no soliciting sign. Perfect balance. But... Cute. I like yeah. that. Yeah. But... Oh God, let's continue. Because we were good until Ghosty said something. Uh -huh. And now you're sitting here saying we're not good and you haven't liked me since day one. Is it, like... Come on. Oh, yeah, what? I didn't say I didn't like you since day one. I said there were things that irritated me. I was putting up with it until the ghosty shit, and that was the fucking last straw. That was just so oh, out well, there. I and couldn't that is stick around. The show ended, and it's my fault. We've already said that. We're just walking in a circle now. Oh, my God. Uh, I think joke. you're just repeating the same thing. And also, I got a bag of bunny on the whole joke stealing thing, because I do remember in a time and recording when she was upset and she kind of talked about a story like oh i hate when people kind of steal my jokes you know and not even five minutes later you said something similar to what she said verbatim cool we've already covered that i'm sorry <laughs> i did it giving an example of like it was obvious to other people and i was dropping hints trying to see like when you were gonna like hmm. if i was doing it i wasn't aware i was doing it or i was repeating something you said to make sure that it was heard clearly i um, don't i don't know what, what to tell you i'm sorry <laughs> now, one thing that was sent uh, to me on Twitter, it was a, like a random Spurg account with zero followers. Oh, my God. <sighs> yeah, I, I see it, Maggot. I do. I see it. My thing is, I... <sighs> yeah. Kimber messed up. She, she admitted that she did. But yeah. right now it seems like this is everyone's just taking this opportunity yeah. to Kick jump her. but they don't like at her. Yeah. But I don't know. I'm I'm speaking on my own interactions, not based on any of this, because if I really want to be honest, this situation so far doesn't really have much effect on me. Because yeah. I'm also viewing it as okay. So that's a big question. That's a big question, though. I mean, how many people on the internet do you truly, truly like, though? So. I'm just a little dude, so you never know. Oh, I mean, it's a legitimate question. True. I like, on the internet, I'm fine with some or most people because, like, if I really gave a shit, a lot of people would not really be near me. I mean, I know you can't stand my ass. Nah, trust me. But we can you, we can no, find no, a no, common no, no, ground. No, no, no. I mean, honestly. if I if I did not if I could not stand you, I would make sure you would have no ability to interact with me. Okay, fair. That's that's I will the give, I will give you that. I will yeah. give you that. My mind at ease. Fair. Because I I am a very direct person. As y'all can see by the many times I'm put in gay baby jail. <laughs> but I'm very direct. At the same time I'm direct, but I'm also kind of a parasite. So, you know, I I just I'm I just make people know that I'm here because I, I'm I'm not affiliated or tied to anyone specifically. Okay, boomer. So to speak. Maybe. Yeah. You never know, though. You are Granted. elderly. I am. I am. I'm just an old man that's looking for attention. I guess. Yeah, you're Sorry, just you like. Sorry, you asking. Come on, come on, old man. Tell us. Tell, tell us. us. Tell you what? What am I? Supposed How old to tell are you? you, old man? How old are you? Okay. Nicer. So, um, I'm about the same age as Tommy C. 
Okay, so you're about so. 52. No, 44, no. honestly. I've Aha! said it before. I've said it before. No. Yeah, you did. I unironically forgot. Because a lot of the times when I'm like, I'm like a dog. If you disappear from my life long enough, I forget who you are. Yeah, that would probably more uh, more correlate with a goldfish. You're a goldfish. No, if you have a short term memory like that, that's that's goldfish. Dogs actually have the mentality of a three year old. Three year olds are dumb as shit. I have a three year old, and honestly, you're not wrong. <laughs> I I had a five year old niece. Same thing at that point. Yeah, Was but that kids too... are cool. No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not going to shit on kids. I love my kids, honestly. So. Kids are cringe. Unless then don't my... have any. Don't have any. Then, I don't know. Make better booba. I don't. I don't know how the fuck to go anywhere from that point. I, yeah, I kind of got you in the corner, didn't I? I fucking hate you. I'm going to unironically take away your penis. I already took yours, bro. I own the rights. You oh. stupid fucking boomer. You stupid elderly fuck. You're uh. not wrong. <laughs> but... Don't, don't, call, don't be mean to him. Oh, no. If I was mean to him, I'd actually get under his skin. No, there's... It, I mean, I you, know a lot of people understand. I mean. Yeah, I know. Me and, me and Slug have gone back and forth at each other for, fuck, I don't know how many, what, two years now? Oh, God. I wish I would forget how long I've known you. It's like a fucking curse at this point. It's a love-hate relationship. So I mean, you got you, you got two. You are hepatitis incarnate. Well, oh. you're you're herpes. You pop up every now and again. So. Well, I uh, just wanted to hop in and say hi one more time before I actually do have to take off. So I'll be listening in. I'll be in the text chat. But uh, thank you for having me on as per usual. And have a good yeah. night, everyone. Yeah, I'm going to burn a baby alive. That's fine. I was going to do the same. I'm going to actually dip the fuck out and start playing some Damn. guitar. So, just the, uh, what? Ew. I'm, I'm, I'm going to be loud before, you know, the family shows up and tells me oh, to yeah. shut the shit off. Yeah. Yeah. Would I get Botox? No, maggot. I would not get Botox. I'm not fucking cringe. Imagine getting Botox. Cringe. Nah, if I get old and like saggy, like how saggy is, I'll accept it. I'll be like the old man. I'll be the wrinkly old man. No, my Twitter's not gone. It's locked for a week because people fucking uh, false flagged it to hell. The only word of advice that I got to give you, Slug, is that after you hit 30, question every fart. Anyway, on that note, enjoy the rest of your stream. I'm going to dip night. out. Good night, old man. Hey, baby. What's good? Fuck, did you say I'm old? <laughs> I just oh. start our combo with, hey, baby, what's good? <laughs> what, what Did you just say if I was old like Sag, are you trying to get castrated? Mm. Oh God, he fucking said, mm. "Oh my God!" <laughs> Look at the screen share, bitch. You're sus. You're sus. You're sus. Uh, what am I? Why am I looking at what their, screen share? Why? They, they posted a clip. We're up. listening to the now recording episode with gay why? short people. Content, saggy. Something you don't have. What are you talking about? I'm a grifter now. You're a grifter now? Damn. Or an e-bagger. I don't know which one it is. Look so at her go, chat. She learned how to grift from, yeah, her, me, from her husband, Andy Signor. No, that's not my grift. Kind of. You, you want to see my grift? My, I did a GoFundMe. No, I want booba. 
Boba? Oopa. Bo -bo Boba? Titties. Boba? Onward. Of uh, you, Ember, calling on the Keemstar show, and your accent was non-existent. Uh, and I've been getting like, yeah. you know, people whispering like she's faking her accent. She's faking her she accent. Do you, would you like to reply to that real quick? Fucking Matt, can you talk with and without an accent? Um, <laughs> I, yeah, I, I officially have a GoFundMe now for my for my grift. Chat, give her money and um, I will steal it like a good noodle. I fell in a yeah, hole. Most people like make up shit for why they do GoFundMe. It's like, oh, sob story, sob story. Please, I need money. I basically just say it. I, I want it because I want it. Give me money. If everybody else could do it, so could I. Give me money. True. Um, Sigs, you can drag people in. You know that, right? I don't. I have that power. Oh yeah. Wait, Saggy, you're a mod. You don't need me to drag you in. You can just jump oh, I in. Am? Yes, dumbass. I didn't know that. I always. I, I told I you. Oh, I don't know. I don't pay attention. We talk a lot of stuff, and sometimes I tune it out. Wow, racist. <laughs> it's not racist. Oh my god! I had to listen to Keemstar get called a racist, but also get called a nigga like fifty times by a bunch of black people. Nice. It was what awful, the and then. He I hey, wanted to let me talk so I can officially give him the N-word pass, but, you know, he didn't let me talk, so. Well, you gotta have strong membership for that one. No, he let me talk before, but he didn't let me talk when all the black people were coming at him, so. I was like, you gotta have a black person, the black shield, Keem, and he wouldn't let me on. I was gonna give him the black, the N-word Black pass, people so. don't exist. Y'all are but just you, little okay, turtles. Okay, but you, you, you only get one, one pass per, per, uh, black friend that you have. That's why I got five. Yeah, no, if you have a black person in front of a bunch of black people saying the white boy has an N-word pass, that, that they have to honor that. Honor. This is this is why I have like nine N-word passes that I just don't use. Unless I'm it. Yeah. I just anyway, savor them. I savor since, my N words. Since we since we got deflected from the last conversation, I know that I gave you one last word of advice of question every fart after 30. Um, the next one, change the fucking wallpaper in your room, dude. That shit is Shut atrocious. the fuck up. Get him out of here. Get the elderly back into the nursing home. Motherfucker. <laughs> oh, God, that's funny. I love that one. That one's funny. Jesus I'm going to bring him back. Christ. I might have to make a call soon. You'll need somebody to talk. Nah, to. it'll be fine. I'm going to do my react content. Hey, that you, my you accent react comes things? out You actually do content? I thought you yes. just did it with yes. Minecraft. Oh, podcast yeah. with someone who has a You're, thick accent. With a... You, you don't have content. So be silent, wench. What do you mean I don't have content? I have like a bunch of content. What's your content? Whatever the fuck I feel like it being my content. Exactly. No content, uwu. I do have content. What are you talking about, No slug? content, you know... uwu. I'll f I'm hold on. I got no content, bitch. Pause. No content, okay. uwu. Okay. Oh, no content? Okay. Oh, let's see. No content, uwu. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, you know you love me. No, you, you're being mean for no reason. I didn't... I, I am on a toxic route tonight. I don't yeah, know why. Really. Hold on. Um, Maybe it's because I'm pregnant. What the fuck? Did that chick <laughs> knock you up? I don't know, man. I've been hornier. Wow. Maybe blue balls is getting to me. Um, like a yeah, terminal case of blue balls. Uh, let's see. Could I you have... cure it? Oh, the f which what? Fucking rude! I thought we were friends. Not that type of friend. Wow, I'm bringing in KD because hey, KD he 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 will friends. he will he will know what what I'm suffering through. KD, have you ever have you ever met someone that was so rude? They're like, 
I'm I'm your friend, but I'm not gonna help cure your blue balls. Have you have you ever yes 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 yes, that happened to me, bro. I actually called this girl up to help me, and she was like, no, and I was so teased, bro. (laughs) Thank you. You get it. Thank you. Hold on, this is literally coming from the same motherfucking dude who had some chick who clearly wanted to have sex with him ask for a 3D print of his penis and she helped him get hard so he could make the 3D print of his penis and he didn't have sex with her. So I don't want to hear it. And then his excuse was, I didn't know she wanted to have sex with me. Yeah, because most women usually ask their fucking friends to 3D print their penises and not want to have sex with them. And not only that, but help you get hard so you can do the 3D print. Like, yeah, okay. (laughs) Okay. Your fucking logic is so flawed. Like, I'm supposed to believe you. Like, okay. In my defense, pee-pee. In your defense, you're fucking dumb. <laughs> you could have got late. You could have got late. You I can't could've. even tell when a woman wants to have sex with you when she literally had your penis in her mouth, bro. Like, who does that? I am I am a wholesome individual, okay? I am Fuck, a child of God. Had, you literally had I am a child of God. I am a child have. of God. You I'm are a ch- not a child of God. You are the child of the spawn of Satan, and you don't know. Uh, I am a child of God. Your dick in her uh, mouth. I am a child of God. Even a I'm child the of God holiest, would know that a chicken I am the down holiest, to fuck when your dick is in her I mouth. I am the bro. holiest noodle there is. Thank you. I am so I'm holy. So, chat, chat. I want you to know that I am so pure and innocent that I just let her suck my dick, and I didn't stick it in her. Yes. That's how holy and sweet and, and and good noodle I am. Yes. See, now you're getting it. <laughs> I hope that bitch bit the fuck out of your cock when she was sucking. She it. did I really not. Do know if she she did not. To keep an eye wow, on things. Wow, she's actually good at sucking your dick and you still didn't get the fucking hint she wanted to have sex with you? Wow. I thought she was being a good friend. <laughs> friends don't suck their friends hey, dick just hey, to be hey, a good friend. Hey, here's the thing. If a homie got blue balls, I gotta help a homie out. Oh, okay, so if KD, so if Katie, if your boy, your boy in the chat got blue balls, yo, KD, you gonna let Slug suck your dick? No, su- no, man. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, man. So, what kind of fucking friends you got, Slug? Well, you must all be girls. Hold on, wait. So they be, all be are. Me. What? Like, be real, be. You let a nigga suck your dick before, huh? Um, I'm pan, so yeah. All right. Well, I can't really say much about that. Okay, fair, fair enough. Fair enough. Get fair good, enough. dork. Get good. Oh, you're pan like me. Ugh. Ugh. I want to share fucking sexuality with you, bro. Oh, just stop being a short moron. How am I a moron? You're short, that's how. How does how does how does height have to do with intel intel intelligence? Like See, like, exactly. Prove my it point does, right but there. I don't know why. They say short <laughs> people are like really smart because wait, no, no no, I think it was it like if you're tall, you're smart because of your age. And if you're short, it's because you're not as you're like. Oh, fuck you too. <laughs> Wait, no, no, not another drive by. Fuck you. God damn it. Every time. Every fucking time. What the fuck? I don't feel bad for you. What happened? Was that Lisa? Was that my that was That was Lisa. Lisa that popped in bill? just... I believe there's something in the Bible about not wasting any seed and let it spill into a woman's belly. So one way or another. <laughs> <laughs> that was Lisa, bro. I love you. Someone you get Bunk in here. We, we need him to come educate us on the Bible. On the what? On the Bible. The Bible. Yeah, the Bibble. Why? I know that Maggot said she was going to go watch Bunk. What does Bunk have going on? 
Um, Bunk is going to be fucked by me for charity. Huh? Bunk literally looks like a child, you fucking creep. Oh, fuck off. He's 18. I don't care if he's 18. He looks like a fucking child. It's not. So, wait, 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 wait. Are you like saying it. that anyone that looks like they're under the age of 18, even though they are 18 and over, if they have sex with another adult, that adult's a pedophile? No, I just will still look at you sideways. You look at me sideways because I breathe. What the fuck do you mean, Saggy? Listen, if you look like you're 14 and you're in reality like 18 or 19, it's weird for me. I think that's sus. You're sus. I'm not saying you're a pedophile. I'm just saying it's weird. No, I'm I calling want my you men, sus. I want my men and women to look like men and women. I don't want them to look like fucking infants. That's like very strange. <laughs> and they, don't get me wrong. I have. Wait, like, you aren't know, you a weeb? Watch. Yeah, but like I've all I mean I've watched little people porn and it's like but I still wouldn't like They're pocket with pussies. Them. Yeah, it's just it's fucking weird, man. It's it's like Remember everyone, uh Saggy says uh short people are not allowed to have sex. Oh no, I never said that. You know, no, short, no, short, you like, you said no, you said small short women got fat asses. They got nah, fat asses. Nah, nah, you said short people they can't also have look sex. Like women, but they're just small. You said just short small people women. can't have sex. Wow. Discrimination. <laughs> no one said that. Discrimination. Well, then I wouldn't be able to have sex, slug, because I'm fucking short by your logic, Ex you dickwad. Exactly. No sex for you. I'll go have sex right the fuck now. Bet. Do it. Alright. I'm going to let y'all listen, too. Whoa. Hey, bet. Content. Want to sex? Why are you looking at me funny like that? <laughs> <laughs> they said I couldn't have sex because I'm short. I said, I'll go have sex right now. No. Right. No. What are you doing? Whoa, wait. No, I said they can listen. I said they can listen. Why sex? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> He's taking her to another room to fuck. <laughs> yeah, I'm leaving well, this stream up. I'm leaving this stream up in its entire. <laughs> Holy shit. That Can't you was... get dead for that? No. No. Nope. This ain't Twitch. What the fuck? Hell, I moved her to the other, like, channel. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I'm over here, like, god damn. Get fucked, nerd. Someone clipped that. Well, if Maggot Edits were here, she would have clipped it, but she's cringe. Hey, Slug, can you be my 100 subscriber? Um, I think I'm already sub though. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. Let's see here, bleep bloop. Uh. Oh, wow, you can teleport? That's cool. Yeah. Like, I turned. Like, I have limited teleportation. It's not like. Me just being fucking cringe and me like, <gasps> you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but, God, that was fucking funny. Yeah, it was pretty funny. God damn it. God damn. But let's continue listening to this. Did it make sense that my accent would come out more? I mean... <laughs> Yeah, yes. I, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I, I would, I would say yes. Uh, Bunny, you, you got anything to say about that? Uh, oh, I mean, see, I don't know what I can and can't say because what was said in BC, <laughs> but oh, okay. yeah, but um, I, I think I can say this because this isn't location based. Ember, you told me you didn't even move to the south till you were fifteen. 
I have You're right. I did move to the south, and I when they were and like I seven and never had an accent. Well, like and that's that. so, and some people move here and pick it up. It don't matter. I know, but you ain't gonna have a southern accent stronger than mine, who was born yeah. and raised here. Oh. Like it, no, I don't know. And you've said so deep. many times. You're just you taking said so many now. times. It's not just fucking deep. You're just taking dick. Like this is really fucking retarded. The no, show is over. Right. Oh my god, you fucking asked about it. It's basically a southern Latina versus a southern lady. I'm over here like, ooh, woo, tea. <laughs> but you have said many times when we were talking in the VC, Ghosty was there the other night. On, on. You're damn Are right you I can. I'll off? say that right now. Are I can you going to let me say something? To. You can keep yelling, but I'm going to keep talking. Anyway, you can keep we talking. were in the VC the other night. We were in the VC the other night, and Amber Lily wasn't talking with her accent. She said, "Oh, I gotta turn my accent on before we go live. I ain't been doing it." You're damn right. And I we did. have been sitting there talking, and, and you and, and I, me and Cooter had taught you in VCs for like all and day one day. You didn't have your show, fucking accent. It's part of our fucking show. You're right. I can turn it off, and I'm used to having to turn it off when I'm talking to somebody. You're right. But you would be talking to me and Cooter privately in a VC and still not have your accent. God fucking damn it. God damn it. Lisa, post that to Twitter. That is fucking great. I'm going to actually show it on stream. Holy shit, that's great. Lisa clipped it. Let's go. Exactly. No sex for you. I'm gonna have sex right the fuck now. Bet. Do it. <laughs> I'm gonna let y'all listen too. Whoa. Hey, bet. <laughs> Content. Why are you looking at me funny like that? <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> He's taking her to another room to fuck. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Shit. I wouldn't be able to have sex, blood, because I'm fucking short by your logic, Ex you dickwad. Exactly. No sex for you. I'm going to have sex. Exactly. <laughs> See? Big brain moves. Why do I have a feeling that Lisa is going to post it to Twitter just being like, Slug's oh, an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> Why does it I'm matter? Saying, it's just lady. funny. Why does it matter? Because yeah. he Dude, asked. But Ember, your, Ember, your story picking, has gone from... You're just picking your petty dicks. Like, it's stupid. Okay, but Ember, your story has gone from... When you are with southern people, your southern accent gets stronger. Sure. To, it is a part of our show, and I can just turn it on and off. The same way that Matt Pitt can turn it on and off, yes. But I do have an accent. Can I draw it out a little bit more when I want to? Sure. But in VCs with me and Cooter and Ghosty, you will oftentimes not have an accent while talking to us. Like. Now, I will say... Um, I will say, I just did it, but I, I will say that uh, I, I, when there's southern people in the voice chat, I don't come in the voice chat and be like, hey y'all, how y'all doing today? How's it going? Like, where, you know, yeah. stuff like that. I'm not, it doesn't get really thick. Now, I'm not saying you're faking it, Ember. I'm just saying like, I think you know, if I'm faking it, I must be doing a damn good job faking a southern accent. It's a hell of an accent. It's a hell Pick up accents. So, howdy. Howdy. How you doing? I got a little bit of the uh, yeehaw accent, but all like ASS. Hey, so, look, man, I've I've been here like for for a while. Yeah, no, accents can be turned on and off. I had one when I first came here. So, yeah. Thank you. Accent, yeah. Thank you. That's a damn good job faking it if I'm faking it. 
I'm gonna see if I can buy. It is a hell of an accent. I can't. Tekken is on sale. What's up? I said I'm gonna see if Tekken's on sale. Oh god, I'm awful at Tekken. What character do you use? The one with the nicest ass. <laughs> I am a man of culture. You know this. Yeah, I'm trying to think who has the nicest ass in Tekken. Like, if they ain't got a nice ass, I ain't playing them. It's the law of nature. It's a law of nature. Females. You fuck nerd. Oh, Lily. Lily keeping me. Yeah, I remember Lily. Yep. See? Now you know my main. Wait, that's that, Saggy. That is. Saggy, rejoin. You can join in directly, you stinker. Stinky cringe. Okay, I'm not going to get laid, but I'm going to go work on some videos. Ah, uh, no. That's what she said. <laughs> yep. I like that. These people just... were supposed to be my friends and they're taking shit that I told them in VCs that was private, that was never supposed to be intended for online, and they're just spilling all, a lot of it here. Stuff that I never wanted the internet to know about myself. How is it private if you weren't talking with a sudden accent on the Kings Are Show? And then when Bunny says you're talking to her in private and with me a couple of times, it doesn't show up, but you say it comes out with Southern people and Bunny and Cooter are like the most Southern it's people I know. It's private when you're talking about where I've lived in my life. It's private when you're talking no about what's that. going on. No one said that. No one said where you live. You they literally said location. it in a public VC. You're, you're calling it on your own screen. screen. I, myself, but I would have never told the internet. So I they don't, never I said don't, a location. Thank you. you. Taught me to trust no one. Is what you don't. No one said a fucking location. And it doesn't matter if you said it. What you said, said was that I moved to the BC. south. As, 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 what you said is that I moved to the south at a certain age. I moved to the south at thirteen. That was you something literally that I said probably never would have said online. You said on a slug stream. Yeah, you you said it on people's stream with a shit ton of people in there. Right, right. And we were oh, talking, you're fine I online. Where I live. You said, said I'm an I live. implant to the south. <laughs> And if you want to talk about faking accents, I can fake a damn good corpse voice, and I've done it for over half a year with oh, people. I don't care, Ghosty. <laughs> why don't you tell them why you're really mad, Ghosty? Because you told me we were good in DMs, you told me we were friends, and then you go and unfriend me and start all this I'm bullshit. mad why don't because you, you gave me really all kinds mad. of shit for not doing the fucking That's live stream for you. Ghosty. Why don't you tell them why you're mad? Tell them why you're really mad, Ghosty. <laughs> I literally said, well, then why don't you tell them why I'm mad? Since you know way well, more why about did me. You, why did you DM me on Twitter and Discord after I told you I was taking a break, but you sent me the same DM everywhere? Oh, why? Because you deleted the videos of because Power I of the Card fucking work. Because I unlisted the videos. Do why you would you unlist the videos? Because, because I'm taking a break, Ghost. See, I told you that in DMs. How does you that have to do with anything on your, on, uh, on your online life? You don't really have to go on YouTube for that. You can just leave them up. Or it's my channel and I can unlist them. Guess what? That's just some fucking petty bullshit. And so is this. So is you dragging this on and now recording. It's just some petty bullshit, bullshit. because I've already apologized and taken all for everything that fucking happened. And you're just still here digging in. So you unlisted all the Hen House podcasts? Yes, episodes? I sure did. Uh, were, was there any plan to put them back? Now, it's your channel. There you was absolutely a plan to put them right back up when I was going to come back online. That was absolutely always my plan. I just wanted to take them down for a minute so that I didn't get the notifications from the videos. That was all. But after this, no, I don't think I would put them back up. Would you ever, like, give them to Ghosty or Bunny to upload? Or? Bunny has the recordings. Okay. I edited all of them. I spent literally, like, 24 hours editing each one because I fucking videos, suck at yeah. it and I'm new at it. So that's a part of why Ghosty was a little pissed about that, too, because me and Ghosty put in a shit ton of work to get those videos up while Amber Lily just showed up. And they have the videos. They are more than welcome to do what they want with them. Fucking take me out of the videos and do what you want with them. Okay. Well, I want to talk about Mad. What did you bring to the podcast other than just your voice and your fake Southern accent? Ghosty, if you think that anyone was there to see either one of us, you are delusional. Uh, everyone's so fucking dumb and cringe and stinky and stupid in all of this. I'm just over here being a little dude. Red tornado was this yuck. Cool. Oh, I forgot my combo. 
again. Exactly. Let's continue. Oh, honey. I never said that. I just asked you, what did you bring to the podcast? Other what than did your you voice? bring? But I had What did you bring? <laughs> I you fucking guys, recorded the did bullshit. All the recording. I did the whole fucking... OBS. Yeah, I showed all the fucking media on the fucking OBS. Well, then it sounds Twitter like... It, well, then what are we talking about? What do you want? You have the videos. You removed me from the equation. What more do you want? Is there... Was why you unlisted them. And now you're asking Ghosty what he wants. <laughs> you have the videos. Just because I unlisted them, he thinks that they're just gone forever because they're unlisted. You have the original videos, buddy. It would have been different if you told us that you're going to unlist it. When I tried to talk to both of you, as I told you in DMs. I tried to talk to both of you yesterday. You both made it very clear that you didn't want to talk to me yesterday. So I made a decision on my own. I mean, you could just said, well, when you said that, oh, I'm going to take a break. Oh, by the way, I'm going to unlist the videos. I you could have just added that shit. in the message. At this point, I don't owe you shit, bud. Okay. Uh, Mitch, did you have a question? Yeah, Ghosty, did you create an alt account on Twitter recently? No. You're not Justice you Berg? No. Are you sure? Yes. Then, then wh wh why is this random alt account that's popped out of nowhere tweeting oh. questions about Amber Lily's accent when I think... I don't well, know anyone else who really say, cares. I have had people message me and ask me about it before because there were people that remembered what Amber Lily sounded like before that it's have like messaged and turn it off, so. all. It's real easy to turn it off when you have to speak to someone in a professional voice. It's real easy to get in a Discord hey, and use that same about. professional voice. We ain't talking about that no more. We're, I was just saying it could be anybody because I literally have had multiple people message me and ask me. So, so a southern and I feel accent. Like would have told me if it was him. You know, I'll be fair. Was it Cooter Pot Pie? No. Okay. Uh, was it you, Bunny? <laughs> no. Ember, was it you? No, I'm just kidding. Um, but uh, like, wait, be but when? Hold on. But when you guys all good yesterday? Yeah. Yeah, okay, I messaged then my Chris, Bunny a few hours okay, but, ago, like a funny TikTok about clowns, and we were fucking laughing about it. I thought everything right. was fine. Okay, but my question to you, Ember, would be: uh, hindsight is twenty twenty right but i do think even if they didn't want to talk to you the more appropriate thing to do would have been like hey i'm unlisting the videos do you know what i mean yeah just say like look i'm, I'm just saying i'm just saying hindsight is 2020 i can understand maybe you were emotional in the moment or whatever but like if i do this podcast and one of us decides oh i'm gonna and we have a whatever we end the podcast i would expect the other people to tell me they're gonna unlist it just because i'm i helped make that product you know that podcast or whatever but i can understand if you were maybe um, well and that's the thing Beavers, i told i told ghosty that in dms i said i unlisted them just while i'm taking a break and then he started tweeting so like i explained it to him when he asked me i'm sorry that i wasn't up front and like personally dm'd each of you to tell you that i was gonna unlist the videos as part of me taking a break but you both made it very clear from the beginning that this was my podcast and my channel and my everything. And it was, I needed to set up the stream labs because this was mine. So if it's mine, then I felt like it was mine to take down. But if it was yours, then why didn't you do like literally anything? Because I made all the graphics for everything. Ghosty ran all the OBS and recorded mm. everything. I edited everything. What did you, well, what did you do? I definitely tried to help. Mm. Okay. <laughs> okay. But look at Damn. KD, you hearing this? A little bit. TLDR, um, three people made a podcast. Owner of the channel took down the videos, but they were not the one technically making the podcast. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. So it's kind of like it's their podcast but it's also um like you know what i mean yeah oh shit i have a backpack now very nice but <laughs> like it's it's just funny to me because I don't dislike anyone in this, like, thing. It's just very interesting to me. Online, you're fine. I'm not, I'm not mad at you for shit. Damn. 
But let's continue. If we start going down Lurk Road, I have no flame to now recording because I don't do shit. Just <laughs> saying, it's kind of funny that she goes over and deletes shit or unlists um, shit without telling anybody on videos that me and Ghosty spent hours on. That's the thing that Ghosty, well, and I understand why Ghosty was a little pissed off about that because we did spend hours doing it while she did the bare minimum and then also decided on her own to just take them off. Like it was kind of a slap in the face. I took videos off of my channel. I apologize for not telling you first. Okay. So I think we've reached an impasse here. I think we've discussed, is there anything else you guys want to discuss before I go to like final? Uh, no. Your final things? No. Go see? Nothing. All right. Bunny, anything else you want to say before I go to final? I'm good. All right. So does anyone have like a final thing they want to say just to like tie this into a bow? Any? Like, is there any way we can meet, reach an agreement? Any way we can come to some sort of, like, kumbaya moment where, you know, obviously the podcast doesn't come back and that sucks, but is there a way we can, you know, have some sort of uh, you go your way, I go my way type of situation? Yeah. Bunny, uh, I'll start with you. I think that's, like, what's the only possibility is we're all going to go our separate ways. <laughs> okay. Uh, Ghosty? Uh, nothing. I don't have anything. All right, uh, Ember. Any any last words you want to say? I'm good. Okay. Well, ladies, sir, um, the podcast was really funny. It was. Uh, I'll be honest with you. Uh, I had a lot of fun watching it. Uh, I think it was like there's been what three podcasts that sparked up the broadcast: Hen House and Woman Recording. I think. I I think Hen House was becoming one of my favorites, even though broadcast has a special place in my heart, and it sucks to see you guys you know, split up like this. I thought you guys had something good going. You know, you had two Southern women who were like a uh, couple, like say whatever, uh, whatever's on their minds, you know. Uh, you had Ghosty, who's a, you know, which to be fair, a complete retard, but he has his charm, you know. So <laughs> he has his charm and he, and he, 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 he had a really good uh, uh, part in this podcast. I thought you guys had something good. So it sucks to see everything split up. Hopefully, one day you guys can talk it out and maybe figure something out to where you guys can at least uh have some sort of friendship again because look you can say whatever you want about ember right you can say she did this she did that she did this she did that but she she did stick i've heard her stick up for ghosty before and there's not a lot of people who will stick up for ghosty including me so like i i will give her that like she cared about ghosty enough to want him she should she should have never i'm gonna be honest with you ghosty she should have never had you on the podcast to begin with and i'm sure people were saying why you have this guy on the podcast but she she took you on and so did bunny so they they uh he, she cared about you enough to like have you on the podcast so i'm not saying yeah. you guys should forgive each other right now but i think that 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 should be the chain the link that will help you guys have this conversation again where you guys could oh uh, matt Pit, you dumb motherfucker. Like, uh, I I have my opinions about this guy. This guy, I don't know. He just is of the opinion that is, like, some people never fucking change X, Y, and Z. And it's fucking dumb. But what do I know? I'm just a little dude. See here, please. Is that it? Um, there's like another three minutes, but yeah, that's pretty much it for that side. I'm kind of like, bruh, it's it's just cringe. Like it's actually just cringe. To say the very fucking least, it's just very fucking cringe. Like that that whole thing in its entirety was just weird, at least in my eyes. But that's just me. Let's see here, more torches, more gold. What's up? Because the whole reason why they fell out is because of the um the death of his mother and how he didn't feel supported, right? Yeah. Like, you're an outsider looking in. What do you think about all of it? 
I mean, if you feel supported, then that's understandable. I don't really the podcast thing. Wasn't it? You said it was her podcast, right? So it was her channel. Uh yeah, like it's her channel and her whole thing in terms of the like ownership of donos and everything of that sort. So I'm mm-hmm. kind of like it's I don't know. It it just feels like there's a lot of things going on. But again, they got into a fight, they did a thing, and now um we have a clip of saggy melons being like, I want sex, give me your penis. <laughs> <laughs> Like, I'm not even wrong, though. That's the best part. I'm not wrong. I'm able to comfortably say, like, "Mm, yes, titties. Like, el buberas. Like, it's just funny, at least for me. Yeah, it was pretty funny. And it's clip. Oh yeah, that's easy, easily, a good fucking meme to post around. Like, unironically, a fun little meme. But I, I just view it as, I don't know. I view it as like it's a podcast that. Sadly, yeah, it was not going to survive that long. It just was not something meant to last. It happens. That's that's content, baby. That's content for you. But yeah. Like there's only so much you can really do. Thank you, Lisa. Even though you're short, I appreciate you. I know I'm going to get punched in the face if she ever meets me IRL like you motherfucker you stupid ass <laughs> am I wrong no. no because she's gonna pop up and be like I heard you was talking shit hmm? Hmm? like unironically it, it would just be fucking hilarious. You'd never punch me. Lies. Absolute lies. I have seen. I have seen the depths of depravity. Ooh, I can do five armor. Max health. <gasps> I can have water be breathing i can be a fish in the sea in the water chat yay i really am just like a fucking gremlin at this point jesus christ um do 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 but i've i've always been of the idea like I don't know. The internet's the internet's fucking stupid to an extent. And like I've had my moments of taking it too seriously. I'm not going to lie and say, oh no, I've never taken it way too seriously, because I have. It's more of just, well, it is what it is. And I kind of just screech into the void. So, yeah. Let's see. Down into the tunnels. Tunnel the pussy. Skee ba dee ba dee ba doo. Beep 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 beep. Yeah. Nice. All of the torches. Shove it up my ass. <coughs> Oh, 
Uh, the old man's reing again, chat. The elderly are reing. They're reing again. The old people are reing. Fuck Baltimore. Wait, no. What? I am so fucking confused at this point. Just like, nanny. Nani da faku. Blue. Oh. Oh. Yep. Welcome to. Welcome to the lesbian. Lesbian Nation Station. Where lesbians are truly in charge. Welcome to Lesbian Park. Oh, that's lava. What chest? I'm on an adventure! Yay! It's a flexible tool rod. But a lot of this shit's just weird to me. That's... You said what's weird to you? A lot of the, like, online bullshit that's been going on over time. It's all just weird. Because a lot of the time it's just either out of context bullshit or it's shit just that doesn't really matter that much. I don't know. I'm playing the COD campaign. Oof, how is it? Uh, it's pretty good so far. Pog, Pog. I'm like five minutes in. Nice. I just blew up a Russian, um, general and his team. Oh, speaking of Russians, how do you feel about the war in Ukraine? <laughs> the war in Ukraine? Yeah. I don't really have an opinion on this. Um, I'm not too. Prim I'm. Not, I don't know too much. So. Ah, okay, really that's fair. Anything. Wasn't Thank it you. like Putin was afraid of Ukraine and like he didn't want them to like. Um. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. From the most that I gathered from it, so take what I say with a grain of salt, I guess, but. Mm -hmm. From what I gathered from it, it was just Putin didn't want um, Ukraine to join NATO. Right, right, right. Yeah, I do remember that. Because there, he's he's just a fucking little baby man that's like, I want my Western Empire back, Ubu. <laughs> I want my Western Empire. Wee. I get no bitches, so I'm going to start a war. Wee! <laughs> Maybe I'm just a literal fucking goblin, and if I ever meet any world leader, they'll be like, this is who they sent. This is who the US sent to meet us. They want war. Yo, that would be funny i want to see putin in the ufc because i know he's a black butt in like mma he does he does jujitsu yeah jiu -jitsu. what i remember yeah. so he's an interesting creature you think prime um putin would be nice in ufc <laughs> <laughs> putin's putin's a fucking psychotic creature to me because it's that whole thing of the guy is 
fucking over his country for the idea of just rebuilding a long dead empire that can't last in a modern society yeah like unironically that's that's what he wants to do like it ain't gonna work it's just scary seeing him do it yeah it's been yeah i saw videos it's crazy bro. like it's fucking insane and of course putin's wife left him he's been oh putin he had a wife in. he's been putting it in oh to his mistress this. Yeah, I didn't know he had a wife. He Does was, he which, huh? Yeah, Does he, he does. Children? He's not very public about his family, which is understandable. But like, the guy is a KGB thug, like a literal fucking thug. Like, n n you're not. You're. N n <sighs> like you're unironically never going to get me supporting this dude because he's a fucking thug and all he's going to fucking end up doing is just oh yeah let's try and explain away x y and z let's do this let's do that ooh woo oh whoa nuzzle wuzzle blush type of shit okay let me go from iron to goleta de limonde el de limonde ay 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 el de limonde nice Okay. And now I can just plop all of that over there. Um, I can grab that, 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 that. Or the books and all of that. Put it into the book barrels because we love book barrels. Um, put this over into here. Uh, We'll put it there. Let's see. Mm. Like, I don't know. I I just I'm just surprised at this point. It's always it's always strange to me. What's strange? Um, a lot of this, uh, a lot of this shit's always weird. Just everything in general. Mm. Ooh. There we go. Yo, it's not like an actual trigger. That's crazy. What's up? My um my art my L two on my PS five sound like an actual trigger button. Nice. Like it's making the noise. Yeah. Did you know it could do that? I did not. Ooh, my fault, ghost. I was ready to shoot him. Ooh. Huh. Huh.
Okay, so now I got that. Let's see here. Hmm. Wonder what this would do. Nope. Ah, peace out, Lisa. Drink water, obtain bitches. Why am I the way that I am? Huh, nice. I can carry a lot of shit like this. Um, backpack settings. Um... Hmm. Okay, now what I'm able to probably do there, blah, blah, blah. Okay, now we are down here. Okay, there we go. Bleep, 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 bleep. is this huh. Huh. It's a little mine shaft that's pretty poggers okay raw copper a book don't need Ooh. that let's see don't need that uh, let's see here. Let's see down the sides. <laughs> Tap one time. Another diamond pick. Very pog. Bleep, 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 bleep. Bleep, 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 bleep. Um, keep the base shit the way it is. Put this over here. here uh beep boop then just grab more of the earth ooh woo ooh woo are these coal blocks
Come here. Beep bop boop. There we go. See here, bloop. Bloop. Say, ah, there we go. Uh, no sticks so far. Beep, bop, boop. Always useful. Okay. Bloop, bloop. Um, do, 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 do. Just a very tired man chap. Uh, I have like an assignment due tomorrow and my brain is just like, you know, I don't want to fucking do it. <laughs> what class? I'm just a little dude. But I'm just it's for my uh it's for the fucking uh it's a journalism class. I don't know oh, okay. why it escaped me. go there we go Let's see oh uh 
Well, time to go harvest yet again. And one of these days, one of these days. Let's see. Here. I might get my craft real quick so I can join your server. I don't have a server, but I'm thinking of setting one up, so I'd recommend oh, this, is this is single player. Oh. Yeah, but if you're wanting to uh but if you're wanting to, I'm I am actually going to be setting up a minecraft server at some point because yeah i think it would be cool i host it w with my uh discord server in my community and all that and um i want it to kind of be pretty chill kind of be like a server exclusive type deal you know what i mean like yeah you're part of the community you're able to use it and it just becomes its own thing Working on two brain cells, chat. Get more brain cells? What the fuck do you mean by get more brain cells? I'm not allowed near the fucking goddamn brain cell room anymore because I thought, you know what would be fun? Stealing brain cells. They got mad at me. They said, slug, no, you're an idiot. You're not allowed near the brain cell room anymore. Then I'm over here thinking, what the fuck did I do? Because I'm thinking, bruh, what did I do? Why? 
sounds what do you mean should have been better at stealing the brain cells look i i date latinas you know how good they are at keeping their brain cells like i feel like kd here can back me up right yeah i've been around a lot of latinas yeah they're fucking great at keeping their brain cells they're like that's a smart one. Es un idiota. Yeah, like I'm over here like I'm trying. I'm trying. But no, I can't fucking obtain brain cells if it's just like reing into a void at this point. Look, look, the brain cells are harder to steal than people's foreskins. Like, when when I stole the foreskin of uh, another YouTuber, you know how easy it was to do it? It was insanely easy. Stealing that foreskin, easiest thing I've done in my life. What do you mean, excuses? This is heresy. How dare people not agree with me? Illegal. Illegal disagreements. How dare you? It is illegal to disagree with me. How dare you? That's illegal. Stinky poopy. Stinky. And I am now falling off of a cliff. Oh, you thought you could end me. But I have used very legal. What do you mean very legal? Is it because you are short? Uh-oh, stinky, stinky poopy. Uh-oh, stinky. Why am I the way that I am? This is why another YouTuber's kid watches my videos because I am literally a giant child. And that was, oh, speaking of that, that was the weirdest fucking thing to find out. Like, oh, someone's kid watches my videos and I'm friends with their dad. That's wild. <laughs> That's, I'm like, how do I explain that? Like, how do I explain that to someone? Like, um, so I'm a YouTuber. Yep, 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 yep. But someone's kid I someone that I know has a kid and their kid watches my videos it's uh, yes it is insane how do I explain this like it's fucking nuts to me like holy fuck like I'm over here I'm over here just like, bruh, how, how do I explain? How, how do I fucking like get people to understand? Like, am I, am I, it's, it's so weird because now I have influence. Now I have influence over the youth and to people that know me in person, that is not a good thing. Why do I say that's not a good thing? Because I am a goblin. I am a literal fucking goblin, a gremlin. I just encourage the craziest shit, especially from kids. I'm just like, you know what? Kill your parents, Tracy. Do it. Girl boss your way to a murder charge. Yes, queen. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe I fucking just said that. God damn it. Why? Why? Just why am I the way that I am? Like, yas, queen. Gaslight gatekeep girl boss into a murder charge. Just Jesus fucking Christ. Am I a menace to society or am I just like fucking dumb? This is why if I'm ever, if I am ever going to be, um, 
Yeah. Like, it's fucking wild and wacky. Let's see here. Bleep, blah, bloop. Bloop, ba, doop. Let's see here. Bleep, bloop. Bloop, bloop. Let's see. Okay, and then everything else gets yeeted back into the void. Yes, yes. Like, it's fucking wild to me. Ah, yes, chat. We have a hat. Chauviles. Very nice. We love Chauviles. Um, just so everyone knows, uh, Luna is short. Her argument invalid. Why her height? Why do I have a feeling that she's going to pop up and call me cringe or stinky? I doubt she will be correct on that because I am not cringe nor am I stinky. I have showered. So I am not stinky. A proper correction is I am pog. I am cool. I am even a pog champ, even. I am I'm more than likely a cool pog champ chat. Right? Right, chat? I am a pog champ. Showering, pog, pog. We we like showers. Showers are pog. see here what do you mean no pog showering's good for you i'm right ha, 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 staying alive staying alive Dude, if showers hurt your back, get like a little, do what I used to do when I was like dealing with medical issues. Fucking get like a chair. Just put a chair in the shower. Like that is unironically the best fucking thing I've ever done. And I, I, I stand by it every day since then because it is great like
see. Here, bleep, bloop, bleep, bloop. See here. So we are now there. Pog, pog, pog. Oh, I feel old, chat. Old people, am I right? So we're not ancient, like, uh, I don't know. Just a little dude, chat. Just a little dude. fucking gold shit. Into the book barrel you go, heathens. Let's see here. Sir, have you harvested your lesbians lately? Katie. Yeah. Have you harvested enough lesbians yet? No. Your lesbian harvesting skills need to improve, sir. Imagine not being a lesbian of power. Quite <laughs> sad. Quite disgusting. Not being a lesbian of power. How dare thou? How dare you? How dare you not be a lesbian of power? Please, explain. Explain. Katie, explain yourself. Now, good sir. Please, please explain. Explain these failings. Explain How the do failings. I like you? <laughs> how, do, how do I become a little lesbian? Yep. <laughs> God damn. Why am I a fucking menace to society? One day. One day I'll be able to answer those questions. Today is not that day, though, but still. But 
Yes, sir. Sir, if you were to become a little lobster, how much of a little lobster would you become? Hmm? 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 Yes. You are unable to become a little lobster. I do not understand your your inability to lobsterfy. Please explain your crimes, sir. Not being able to do a lobster. Heresy! Potion seller! Potion seller. To me, please. Why am I allowed to talk? Like unabashedly <laughs> i ask why am i allowed to talk at all you know what i mean yeah where are these people coming from even though they're even though you're a solo server um these are like this is a modded minecraft mod it's modded so these are like normal mobs and some unique ones that pop up here, bloop bloop, chauvile. Oh, a belt. This will go on le beltusi. No. Belt. Um. Do 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 do. Okay, turtle, turtle, drinks, lesbians. If you can slurp a lesbian, you can become a god. <laughs> that makes sense, right? I can see it. <laughs> if you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball. <laughs> <laughs> you can dodge a wrench, you can dodge a ball, boy. Mm, dodge ball. Do you ever wonder what it's like to be a fish? Like, yes. unironically, just being a fish. Yeah, I think about it. Yeah, because it's a, it's a pretty comforting feeling. I'm not going to lie. Like, I'm being serious, too. I'm like, you know, being a fish must be nice. Because <laughs> at some point... At some fucking point, you're just gonna be like blub blub, fish time. Blub blub, fish. Yeah. <laughs> Why are you laughing? I'm serious. You'd just be like blub blub, fish time. Blub blub, fish time. <laughs> Is that just me? Am I like losing my mind? Like blub blub, fish time. Oh yeah, I gotta go to the nether so I can piss off God.
Uh, one of these days, I want to... I want to just, like, set up a podcast where I just ask people stupid questions. It would kind of be like, um, but between two ferns. You know what I'm talking about, right? Uh, give me an example. Like, what's um, like the Zach place? Galifianakis kind of asking Barack Obama. So, are you any good at basketball? <laughs> <laughs> that's wild like it's stupid as shit but it's funny yeah it is funny you I wonder ask, what his response would be like that's a legit that's a real thing that happened too like Zach Galifianakis asked the first black president I'm not even being racist. I'm quoting Zach Galifianakis. I am literally quoting him. What do you mean? Can't have shit. Ooh, nether mine shaft. Ah, cum light. We love cum light here, chat. Very, uh, cummy. I'm a little lobster. I'm a little lobster. I'm a little lobster. Go. <laughs> this is what happens to me when my ADHD meds wear off. <laughs> I'm just playing Minecraft, pissing into the moon. Oh, wait, I could just bonk, 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 <laughs> nerd. Nerd, imagine dying, fucking nerd. Stinky, poopy boy. Stanky boy. Stinky. Oh god, the pig can live. What the fuck? Respawn, of course. What? <laughs> How'd you die? I don't fucking know. What the fuck was that? What was that? I'm going back into the nether. 
Uh, I'm not doing keep inventory. That's that's stinky to me. So you only are left with a key? I got my stuff, just like Bubo the Docator. He scares the shit out of me. I ain't fucking with him. I'm avoiding that pig in the long range. Or at least the short range, because Jesus Christ. Yeah, it was that was unexpected. I'm in the spiral zone. I'm a little fishy, chat. Look at me go. I'm just a little fishy. Fishy time. Fishy time, everybody. Oh my fucking god, I gotta kill the fucking fire sperms. Jesus. The fucking hell sperm. Fuck off. I don't want your fire come. Why the fuck do I speak? Jesus. Hello. Hello. What are you doing? I'm playing Minecraft. What's up, son? Dope. I actually got a question. This is really random, and I'm sure you told it before, but I just want to confirm. What's up? So, you know how you have, like, that fucking, what, I think you called it ulcer colitis or something? Yeah. Yeah. Do you fucking, like, how did that happen? So, it's a medical condition that developed around the age of 18. Okay yeah how did it pick up like did, did something cause it or was it just like a no. natural thing that was gonna happen it was a natural thing that just happened we originally thought oh maybe it's a genetic thing between family but it was not that so at that point it was just it's a thing that popped up so it wasn't like triggered by anything right not that I know of. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. 
Yeah, because I never really heard the story. I mean, somebody like could be like sound, making it sound sinister, like, "Oh, Slug's coughing blood; he's dying." Oh I yeah, that like... happens whenever I get stressed, like very stressed. Wait, so it's... that's a thing? Well, for me, it is because my health's kind of fucked up. I'm crippled to hell. Yeah, but. A lot of that is just if I'm very, very stressed, it's kind of my immune system going into overdrive. And it starts attacking stuff. Which okay, is, so it's just yeah. caused primarily by stress. Yeah. That's why, like, I, whenever I get stressed, um, you will see kind of like physically my health gets fucked. You can search up, like, there are multiple different things that not even on the whole fucking Mayo Clinic or fucking online lists for symptoms, because those symptoms are, like, the bare minimum list. It's always fun. But, yeah, I saw Ruby's tweet being like, don't end up like slug throwing up blood. Yeah, she... I wonder what that was a reference. That's what I'm wondering. Did she send you like anthrax or some shit? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> uh, it was it was really funny. But I'm over here like I remember uh, it. I've heard worse insults because like I've had someone pop up and be like, I hope you shit yourself. I'm like, is that like the best you could think of in a sense? Cause that's really it. But a lot of this stuff is like, I get, so you remember those tweets where I would post like me with an IV in my arm? Yes. I was getting my medical infusions of my medication that I get maybe once every four weeks or seven weeks because it's intermittent because if it's a lot of medical complications then the spacing gets kind of spaced out a little less. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, now I have something new to the slug lore. Yeah. Like, I was. Like, I can easily, like, post what I looked like in the hospital because I was down to, like, 110. Because I died. This was back in 2016. So I was skinny, skinny. Like, beyond fucking skinny it was late 2016 when i first got diagnosed no i'm gonna stay why couldn't ruby fucking violet get that shit <laughs> dumb bitch hey. deserves fucking cancer i don't well, you know it would have been better actually if they you now like steve was talking about torturing you and shit yeah. I think she should get that treatment. That'd be pretty awesome. <laughs> Unironically, you know, man. Like, she like, just seems like the type that would be really good, like, you know, like in a messy predicament. You know what I mean? Yeah, she'd squeal. I actually just made a tweet. Um, what do you think of this, this one, Slug? I, I want to see if I can get your approval. <laughs> nice. Here, I'm a, I'm a just post this. I, um, I gotta get ready for like I'm gonna do a quick late night stream, but. Oh yeah, man. Yeah, I'll be back. But. Hello, old man. Hello. How are you? All I gotta say, dude, is change the interior of your fucking room. That's it. You motherfucker. And he leaves! And he 
fucking leaves! You fucker. God damn. Like, holy shit, man. Do, 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 do. See bleep loops. Here, bleep bloop.
Let's see here. Surprised to see how you get out. Oh, of here? Yeah, oh. oh. There we go. Bleep bloop. Go. Let's see here. Bleep bloop. Oh, hello, oh. spawners. Hello, my little pets. Get a bonk. One bonk for you. You get a bonk. You get a bonk. Look at all of these sweet little bonks. Hmm. Treasure. Oh, Sir. <laughs> Sir. Rude. <laughs> Just like, Sir. Rude. We Man. I know at least by Tomorrow night, I'm just going to do like a pure homework stream. <laughs> yeah. What was the class again? It was a, it's a communication class. Uh oh. What's that chest? Um, it is a Let's see. Let's see. Ah. Uh. Well, I am dead tired. I'm going to go to bed. I hope you all go to Sen's channel. He's going to stream a little bit later. And yeah, peace out, everyone. Good night. Good night. Uh, 
Grab Booba. Booba Pog. 